world record? Literally, half of my estimate being over my average time is because of the reset. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, we could probably set a new estimate right now that was like no, 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 15 no. minutes short. <laughs> no pressure. Alright. Uh, so I swapped Withdrawal with Tackle there because I'm going to be teaching Water Gun over Withdrawal. And when I teach the move, it'll be right over top of it. Alright, so I'm going to heal here. He's going to probably use Tackle. Yep. Oop. Tackle will miss. That's unfortunate. Um... I'm going to tackle him so he has another opportunity. Good. And then hopefully he tackles me again so I get into Torrance. Ah, fine. But that's fine. Alright. Right, yeah. Something to note about the Onyx's AI is that he'll only use Rock Tomb if it's going to kill you. Or if it, if, uh, it has a chance to kill you. So if you're on something like 11 HP or something, uh, depending on your defense, is kind of the range that you'd expect him to use Rock Tomb. So um, basically, you try and judge it as well as you can, and if you're on between like 5 and 11 HP, you'll use a potion, because you're sure he's going to Rock Tomb. So basically, you're trying to get as close as you can towards Torrent after this fight, because it really helps for the next route. So that's what we tried to do there, and uh, took an extra hit from Onyx uh, to get a bit lower HP. So we just got the Rock Tomb TM. Uh, if you remember from Emerald, they used Rock Tomb. At least I believe they used Rock Tomb. Uh, yeah, we use Rock yeah. Tomb. Yeah. Sadly. <laughs> yeah. We are not going to use Rock Tomb, uh, except for money, because we need money. Money is very important in this route. Rock Tomb is a bad move. It has an 80% accuracy. Yeah, it's uh, ridiculous. Would not recommend. I mean, we're using Mega Kick, and that's got even worse accuracy. Yeah, and uh, something else to note, the actual route for this game that the world record holder uses in everything will have Mega Pit Me oh wow, sorry, Mega Kick and Mega Punch that they use, but uh, JP's going to go for a slightly safer route and use Water Gun instead of Mega Punch, so he's going to keep a secondary water type move. And it's it's basically just a bit safer because Mega Punch can miss all the time and things like that. And you have kind of more PP to play around with and things like that. Also, uh, would you like to explain what you got the shot? Yeah, I picked up uh, five potions, five Pokeballs, four antidotes, three awakenings, an escape rope, and four repels. Uh, by the way, shoutouts to Repel for Mount Moon. It is literally the best. What makes this game slightly better than uh, original Gen One? All right, so I want these bugs to tackle me, and that's not happening. That's neat. Right, you want them to uh, put you into. I, I need them to put me into Torrent because Torrent saves a lot of time. Like this fight is like whatever. I could not get Torrent off of it, but I would definitely like Torrent for the next few fights because it can just waste a whole lot more time. And I am not getting lucky. So I'm going to use Bubble on this last Caterpie here in order to try and, like, coax him into using a tackle. Good. Once more. Boo. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. They don't really like to cooperate a lot when you get to this point. Yeah. So you but can either choose to. Strats, so. Yeah, you can either choose to like accept your fate and just be like, I'm probably not going to get into Torrent, so I may as well just kind of clear them as quickly as I can, or you risk kind of wasting a bit of time. To wasting try and manipulate it, your it HP. wastes one turn in order to save potentially four turns, so right. I will gladly accept the risk. However, Definitely. we are not going to get it. By the way, um, I have perfect special attack. You do? Oh, wow. Top Squirtle. 
top tier Squirtle will destroy everything. Uh, these two bugs don't die in one hit. It really sucks. I'm switching to Bubble because it saves a bit of frame over Water Gun. Just small optimizations. Something I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to do the bonk thing that we talked about earlier with uh, with the NES. I'm going to bonk off this trainer in order to save a couple frames. There's a really important uh, trainer bonk later on uh, that we'll get to when we get to it. All right. My speed is actually not the best right now. It's probably one of the lower speed IVs, but that's fine. Yeah, you can't expect everything to be perfect, I guess. Nah, I, as, honestly, as long as special attack stat is top tier, it's fine. Ah, right. That's a really unfortunate range to miss. Yeah, I guess something to mention is that speed doesn't really come into play too much throughout this run. Like Most we started with, speed, yeah. yeah, we started with ten speed this run, so we we'll, we'll generally be pretty good. We might have to buy an extra X speed than we would if we had a better speed. I'm ID. still buying the marathon safe uh, seven or something. Yeah, I'm buying seven. Right. Okay. All right. So here's our next catching area. Uh, in here, we want a Spearow for sure, and hopefully we run into a Jigglypuff. Mankey is also acceptable. Wow, that bubble did, like, no damage. I'll do it, I'll do it again. Oh, wait. Uh... Oh, that was just inside Torn. I couldn't figure that out fast enough. Oh, well. Oh, well. A bit more experience. Yeah. Pidgey. I'm gonna skip Pidgey. I can get a higher level Pidgey later in the game. Yep. <laughs> so, Jigglypuff. Spearow. There's Spearow. Jigglypuff is nice to have, but it's not required. It's basically a bonus, even though it's two Pokemon. Yeah, basically when we're doing this, we just kind of run around the grass until we get the Spearow, because we need that for a trade later on, for a Farfetch'd, and he gives us uh, a HM Slave for Fly and Cut, so we can have him to do both. So we really need to catch a Spearow here before continuing on. Yep. In said, the Jigglypuff event that um, you get put to sleep by Jigglypuff, you can catch a Spearow uh, in the grass right before Cerulean City. So there is a backup strat, but we'd like to catch Spearow as soon as possible. Right. And I can catch a Mankey later, so not getting Mankey there isn't the end of the world. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to buy this Magikarp. Um, it's useful because it's a Pokemon that I don't have to catch, and I accidentally mm -hmm. pressed A. And this is the biggest ripoff in Pokemon history right here. 500 for a Magikarp. Five bucks. Alright. Oh, I was expecting you to nickname it Cena. No, I, I, I will not do that. <laughs> Alright. So I stopped here because I'm using the Repel here. And now we're going into Mount Moon. Uh, I repel there because it gives me a better positioning for one of the running trainers. Makes it really easy for me to dodge her. I accidentally messed up right. the movement, but it's not too bad. Oh, that I messed up. Okay. <laughs> nice. Good job, John. Oh, dude. Alright, so I'm fighting this trainer uh, in order to get me to level 18 uh, after the super nerd fight. All his Pokemon died to a bubble, so it's not a problem. Alright, and you want level 18, so you have to use one rare candy to level up to 19 before Misty's gym, right? Exactly. Yeah, because you learn Bite at level 19. And Bite makes Misty's Gym quite a lot easier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rather and than having to deal with two low-accuracy moves, you just deal with one. 
And plus, if you end up uh, doing too much damage and Misty heals, then you can just use Bite. And it becomes trivial to beat. Mm -hmm. So here's War Turtle. Everybody say hi. Hi. Uh, are my Franker Faces E emotes loaded? Um, they are. Okay, cool. There's a couple relevant emotes for later in the run there. I'm gonna pick up a revive up here. For safety. Alright, that was the first spinner. Turn too soon. Yeah, that spinner, if you just leave the ladder and then go past him without collecting the revive, there's a little bit of uh, step manipulation you can do, where if you run and then start walking at the perfect time, the rocket trainer doesn't have enough time to look upwards, so you can just walk straight past him. But I'm guessing that either because it's a marathon and you want to be safe, or because you've yeah, got the revive, I, I, I that I want you to be do that. safe. It's not a guarantee he can still turn fast enough, but right, I want to make sure. Obviously, yeah. keeping the run spinnerless is a good thing. Definitely. And we've got, like, a few nasty spinners later on in the run, especially, um, yeah, on the Sevi Islands. Yeah. So, Ooh, that was a limit sick critical. Nice, that's a really good one to get. Criticaling the Zubat is very nice because Zubat likes to use Supersonic, and you want to be sure you have the Person Berry for Misty. Right. It makes the fight a lot easier. Because mm -hmm. Water Pulse can confuse. And uh, one thing to mention, we just went past a Moonstone there, and you might be wondering why didn't we get the Moonstone in the rock? Because uh, we want to evolve Pokemon later on, because it's, you know, uh, round two and everything. But we actually get given enough Moonstones during the route of the game, oh, okay. to which we don't need to get that one. And we only pick that one up if we caught a Jigglypuff in the patch of grass before Mount Moon. Yeah, otherwise, we have the exact number of Moonstones needed. Uh, it's in the route to get three. Uh, so I swap bubble with water gun because I'm going to teach over bubble. Um, I thought I was going to two hit the grimer. That's why I did water gun, water gun. Usually the strat is uh, water gun, bubble, water gun. Uh, that way, if he uses disable, he disables bubble, most likely. But that was a good fight. Uh, now we get the Helix Fossil. And would you like to give us the trivial reason why we liked the Helix oh, Fossil just, and not the Dome Fossil? It's, it's just there. <laughs> it's just a couple frames faster to just walk straight forward instead of turning to the left. There's no real benefits or, yeah. or disadvantages to getting either one. Mm -hmm. I picked up an extra and... antidote because getting poison sucks. Uh, right. Now we teach Mega Kick over Bubble. Rip Bubble. Yep. Sir and this well. is the part where you would also learn Mega Punch if you were using that route. say that you didn't get the bonk. Yeah, I didn't get the bonk. <laughs> uh, teach bite over That's tail whip, if you don't need uh, tail whip anymore. Potion up. And then we're going to go to the mart and buy two super potions in order to, right. again, be safe. But it's mm -hmm. part of the route, too. You yeah. can delay it. Uh, but it's much, much, much safer to just get two here. Sure. And now we go fight Misty. 
One other difference uh, between Gen 1 and Gen 3, trainer positionings are slightly different, so I don't have to fight two trainers in this gym, just one. And yes, you'll notice that uh, he saved before this fight, because it can get pretty ugly. Oh, like, if I get, get crit swifted, a few times. if I get crit swifted, it's over. So, well, yeah, double crit swift. That's happened. Uh, so I lead with <laughs> Mega Kick. Happened. It's another reason why we have Mega Kick on slot one right now. Uh, Star U typically uses Harden. Uh, turn one, it's much more likely to. Uh, under fifty percent health, Star U is much more likely to use attacking moves. So that's convenient for us. Then we Mega Kick, and then Double Bite the Starmie. And I missed. Cool start. Double miss. Double cool start. Cause I'm to 12. I'm gonna heal now. I say, this is, this is why we get the super pins. If you yeah. get the perfect oh, fight perfect. and everything, then... It wouldn't be necessary, but it's just, it's just very, very yeah. safe idea to And yeah, wow, that's a great crit. <laughs> Alright, cool. Misty down. Misty gives us Water Pulse, so I'm going to teach that pretty much immediately to War Turtle. And I'm going to be using Water Pulse for like the next hour and a half. Well, no, just yeah. hour. Just hour. And uh, the Mega Kick PP didn't really matter, as you'll see coming up, because I believe, anyway, uh, JP's going to be in the Pokemon Center. Yeah. Uh, healing up and everything, and also doing some PC inputs with his Pokemon, basically to kind of clear out his party, yeah, I so need, that I he can room for accept Pokemon. Pokemon later. Uh, yeah. Because it's faster that way. Yeah. Basically, later on, we'll be collecting um, an Abra, a Clefairy, and an Eevee into our party. So it's much easier if they're already sent to our party instead of the box, because the Abra gets traded, and the Clefairy and the Eevee are evolved with stones. So it's it's just much easier if we switch around our party and make sure that they're in our party right now, mm -hmm. so we can evolve them when they're received. Plus, I need Abra for teleport later, and having to go back into a center in order to get uh, Abra is horrible. Uh, I'm going to yes. save here as well. This is Rival 2. Rival 2 is annoying. Um, I can get sand attacked by the Pidgeotto, and that's never good. Yeah, you'll see that most of the rival fights in this game can be, can be pretty challenging. Like, if you just miss one move, like later on, for example, which we'll get to, but you miss one move and uh, it's a reset, like you'll have to um, reset the save. So this rival really does pack a punch for the entire Fire Red game. Yeah. Sand attacked. Oh, dang. So, I'll just swap with Caterpie in order to get rid of the accuracy loss. He got confused, but it's literally doing nothing. Double Water Pulse generally takes care of him. Bulbasaur takes a bite and a Mega Kick, uh, but he can also use Sleep Powder, which is annoying. Oh, this fight's going swimmingly. Oh, great. And yeah, Leech Seed? Uh, Leech Seed's fine here, actually. Yeah, Leech Seed's fine. And I got the flinch. I don't have to worry about Mega Kick now. I have an extra Mega Kick. I like that, actually. Nice. Alright. And, uh, yeah, the Leech Seed being there just means that your HP will just drop a bit and get you even closer to Torrent, which is always a good thing mm -hmm. for this route. Normally I would bite the Avra, but because I have perfect plus special attack, uh, I'll Water Pulse. 
Still have to water pulse the Rattata, though. Because with a water gun, it's still a range. That quick attack was good. Again, getting me closer to Torrent. Alright. So that wasn't too terrible. Could have been better, but it also could have been much worse. I could have gotten very much Sleep Powder trolled. And there is another chance or two to drop ourselves into Torrent on the upcoming bridge and a few trainers later on. Like, this is a couple of fights where you can get poisoned or quick attacked, so hopefully we'll be able to get into it. And if we don't, then it doesn't matter too much, especially with the amount of Mega Kicks that you currently have. This guy is the easiest fight ever. <laughs> um, he has four Best Pokemon. Fight. They all die to Bite, which is the move with the least text in the game, or in the game that we use, so... Mm -hmm. Shout out to this guy. Yeah, very swift fight. Yeah. I'm actually very glad I have the extra Mega Kick right now, uh, because I need to Mega Kick four other things. And if I had to Mega Kick the Bulbasaur, uh, if I missed one, I would have to do double bite strats in order to uh, make up for that. So it just right. wastes one turn instead of two turns now. Again, I'm going to be bonking off all these guys in order to save frames. Yeah, on this bridge there isn't too much to talk about really. They're yeah. really basic fights, you just use one move to kill everything. Exactly. Most of the catching happens after uh, the Pokémon Tower. Because that's right. when Safari Zone really kicks everything off. Oh god, yeah. And Safari that's gonna Zone, be fun. That's gonna be a uh, fun experience. Here's the first mm -hmm. Oddish that I need to make a kick. No, I got it. Good. And then Bellsprout always dies in a bite. Any percent uh, for this category, by the way, um, uses basically the same strat that I'm doing, uh, except it doesn't fight the Hiker to get to level 18, it just uses two rare candies. Um, it also grabs an extra Aether. That way you don't have to take the center and restock your Mega Kicks. Um, which saves a whole bunch of time. Shoutouts to me, the RNG, who created that any percent route. He is very, very good. And speaking of creating the routes, this route is pretty much all done by S. Fane B. He's currently doing the French uh, restream commentary. And he is an amazing runner as well. came up with this uh, Mewtwo route. Mm. Okay, this is the fight that I was mentioning earlier, where you could get poisoned if you wanted to. But, uh, yeah, pretty sure JB's just gonna sweep through all yeah, the walls anyway. No reason to worry about it. Right, like, as great as Torrent is, it isn't 100% required or necessary no. for the run, so... If we don't get it, then, you know, say la vie. It helps continue. with a couple of damage ranges on uh, some of the earlier Pokémon, like the Ekans that we fought earlier. It's a damage range uh, without Torrent. This Mankey is also a damage range without Torrent, but with my uh, IV being so high, it's very, very low chance that I don't kill it. Alright, uh, we get a Nugget now. Um, interesting uh, casual glitch that you can do. Um, if you die to this rocket and uh, just keep coming back, he'll keep giving you Nuggets. You get to keep the Nugget that he gives you before the fight. So you can just get as many Nuggets as you're willing to die for. But we only need the and I so. Yeah, I was going to say, I really wish that it was in this route. That'd be nah, so cool, it's... but it's just not enough money to worry about. Nah, we get, we get enough money uh, through selling other things. It's just a fun, casual glitch. Like, there are glitches in this game, most just aren't useful. Which, by the way, this is glitchless. Yes. 
Yes. We've got a uh, photon butterfly in chat saying that you're doing great. Shout out to photon butterfly. I don't have the chat window open because I'm concentrating. Yeah. I love oh, she's you. here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got the elixir there. And uh, there are a few invisible items that we'll be picking up throughout the run. I think that was the first one. I can't remember any other invisible. Uh, it was a person berry. Technically, or the person berry was invisible, but the berries all have a spot in the ground so you can see them. Uh, right. Unlike Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, there aren't any berry trees. They're just in the ground. Ah! That's unlucky. He quick spun me. Usually, I just uh, play it. Uh, I usually just go for it. And he usually doesn't see me, but he was uh, spinning around like a madman. Right, that's, that is quite unlucky. But hey, because he it's anyway. two tiles, pause buffering and bag manipulating um, just isn't really like feasible. Right, he can still probably quick spin you at the end. Okay, is it after this trainer that you no, want to have good next movement? Trainer. But, I but need you want to have good movement, right? To kind of set up. This, so. Yeah. So one of the things we talked about was the whole bonk movement thing, and how if you bonk into something and then move, you uh, cancel the turn frames, so you save a little bit of time there. So uh, with this movement coming up after this trainer battle, he's going to bonk into the, uh, the little hedge that's in front of him, and then go downwards and right, and he's going to try and time it so that he goes on top of this trainer that's running up and down. So if he times it right, then he won't fight the trainer. And if he accidentally mistimes it or anything, then he'll be in a trainer battle. So we'll see what happens. Got it. Nice. Good job, dude. <laughs> that was one of the things that you, you really wanted to get this. Yeah, getting that skip is really swag. Right, and like, some of you in chat might not have known what was going on, or might not have been too impressed by that, but it is quite difficult to do. I must say, I never yeah, went through it when I ran the game. frame window to get. Yeah. Missed a mega kick. That's sweet set okay. though, so it didn't take any damage. I kind of want to take damage, but my... My uh, special attack IV is so high that it really doesn't matter. All the damage ranges that Torrent would help just gets mitigated by this amazing special attack. Do you know how many Mega Kicks you have left? One. You have one, okay. Yeah. Alright, so here's Bill. Um, he likes to dress up. <laughs> he says that he got... Uh, Spliced Best with Pokemon cosplay. DNA, but uh, I'm pretty sure he just crawls through that tunnel after he undresses. <laughs> and yeah, it's it's a pretty damn good Clefairy cosplay, I'm not gonna lie. Realistic as hell. God, how does he get his body in that suit? I don't know. Nothing There's a lot of things wrong, wrong here. Like, how the hell do you trans... like, how do you go from being a human to a Clefairy? Miss you dungeon. Something I'll never understand. This is Pokemon oh. Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> Before it, it even out, happens. Guys. Oh man. <laughs> it was a spoiler. I have wow. just broke Pokemon. <laughs> Someone tweet that out. <laughs> Alright, oh, so dear. now we got the SS ticket. So we're gonna go on a boat ride. Uh, but that won't be for a little bit. First we gotta go and beat up on this rocket who decided to trash this house. I mean, look at him. He left muddy footprints. Uh, so this guy has a drowsy. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to die in a Mega Kick, but I can miss Mega Kick, and then he can use Hypnosis, and then it's a problem. So we're just going to hit Mega Kick and not deal with any of that. We don't learn Rapid Spin here. Rapid Spin sucks. <laughs> 
You sure? You sure you don't want rapid spin just in case when you stealth rock on your own? Uh, this isn't Beyblade percent. <laughs> right. Yeah, rapid spin has no use at all. It's incredibly weak. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we got Dig. Um, in any percent, you would teach Dig to Rattata uh, after you caught him to be your cut and Dig slave. Uh, however, in this route, we are not teaching Dig. We use escape ropes. Right. We sell Dig for money because money is important. So this part is fun, which is running on the ground mm -hmm. and making our way to Vermilion City. Grab the hidden rare candy up here. Mm -hmm. And then there's a little bit of movement here. A little bit of crafty movement to avoid some trainers. I actually took it safe. I went a little bit early. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't want to deal with hitting that Butterfree guy. Yes, the Butterfree guy with like four status moves. That torments the hell out of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this fight, there's a Raticate, and if we did have Mega Kick, then we'd be able to one-shot it, but... Um, or if we were in Torrent, we'd be able to one-shot it with Water Gun. But uh, it shouldn't be too much of a ah. problem. We'll just take an extra turn. Doesn't matter. He missed Hyper Fang, which is good. Oh yeah, yeah, good. <laughs> Hyper Fang is actually really powerful, especially from that Raticate. Probably would have done like 30 damage and forced us to heal. All right, can we get some Chiding hype in here? <laughs> okay, look. What, what is the FFC? It's Chiding with no apostrophe. Chiding. C. Got it. Capital C, lowercase H, capital D, ing. Chiding. Yep. Don't forget the capital D. Shouts to uh, M Bison for that FFC emote. So that moves our mon counter up to 7 out of 60 yes. I will in our mark that in just one second. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to get the bike voucher here. This After listening to, to this, yeah, this old man's story. I think in the next Pokemon game, what they should have is a similar sort of setup to this. But the old man sitting there just sits there and reads Fifty Shades of Grey no. before giving you the bicycle ticket. No. I would not <laughs> wish like... that even on my enemies. <laughs> really? Okay. We'll scratch that idea. Alright, so I buy five more Super Potions, four Paralyzed Heals, and three Repels. The Repels are for Rock Tunnel. Paralyzed heals are because Stun Spore and other things like that are annoying. Alright, and here's a boat. We're on a boat. Yay. On the deep blue sea. Free heal here, which is convenient because we need to be at full health for this next fight. Oop. I meant to hit a, uh, B and not A so I could bunk off, but... Uh, we go down here to the kitchen, and we pick up some berries in the trash. I'm going to equip this one. Sarge, President 2016. Oh god, no. <laughs> President? You're What's from up? the UK, you should be saying minister. No, but there's no election in 2016, so how is that going to work? <laughs> true, true. The next election here is like four years. Okay, I'll be president. Uh, Start of the Prime Minister 2020. <laughs> Part of the PSR party. Right. But uh, no, we, we equip the Chester Berry there because uh, this Ivysaur coming up. I think it pretty much always sleep powders or something, is that it's right? It's got sleep powder or poison powder. It usually tries to sleep powder you. Right. Yeah, so we've just got that, and the uh, decides to sleep us, then it's a pretty free fight. Quick attack from Pidgeotto is fine. Again, the big thing I'm wanting to avoid is sand attack. 
Yeah, double quick attack's a little eh, but as long as we don't get sand attacked, we're good. Alright, here's the Ivysaur. There's the Sleep Powder, and that's why we have the Chesto. Good. Get the Mega Kick there. And then we get to Mega Kick this Raticate. Good. And then we bite the Kadabra. Usually Kadabra will disable Mega Kick. I missed him. But that's what he was gonna do. But doesn't matter. Kadabra just gets spit to death. So that was a really good fight. That fight can go terribly wrong if uh, if you get sleeped, or if you miss a mega kick. Yeah. Or if you get leech seeded. Leech seed is so annoying in that fight. Mm-hmm. Anyway, and get the HP this guy back really rub there. and uh, yep. get cut. So, normally, you would think, okay, we just cleared the SSN, I uh, guess it's time for Surge, and... I hate doing that. I guess it's time for Surge and trash cans and all that, but no, we're not doing uh, Surge just yet. Uh, we can actually delay Surge. So we're going to come back right, here so and get Fly, but for now, we're going to move on and go through Rock Tunnel. Yes, and um, the the current world record and everything, or world record strats, I guess, would be to do Surge. Um, yeah, Crafted Eye, who also shouts to him for the Emerald Run, and shouts to him for being FF2 world record holder. He does uh, do uh, Surge early, but it ends up being really hard. That girl's annoying. So is this similar to normal red where you do a surge before or after the SSM? Yes. Ah. Well, as long as you have cut. <laughs> Which, speaking of cut, we're going to be teaching that to, to Chiding up here. Shouts to putting discs on Pokemon's head. <laughs> and uh, just a small observation there. While he's teaching the TM, he'll be mashing B. And that ends the animation of the TM teaching a little bit earlier. Or a little they bit become earlier. a TM unicorn. Yes. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'm going to equip the Cherry Berry. Normally I would keep the Chesto Berry equipped, but I don't have one. So, be safe and sorry. So now we got the bike, and we're heading on over to uh, this next fight. This is another dumb Oddish fight. We're the only reason, literally the only reason we have Mega Kick is because these Oddishes exist. And they don't die to bites or anything like that. If we could route out Mega Kick, we would route out Mega Kick. But Mega Kick is faster, so here we are. This Bell Sprout is a range. Nice, got it. In case you haven't watched the anime, Bellspot is the best Pokemon out there, so that is extremely good to get out of the way. Yep. You hit another Mega Kick, so you've been having some pretty good luck with that. Mm -hmm. Well, I, uh, aside from Misty. I forgot you missed two. Yeah, I missed two on Misty. So I guess it's been up and down, but it hasn't really do anything particularly so far. What is a Mega Kick's accuracy? No. 70? 70. It's, yeah, it's either 70 or 75. It's, that, it's in game that roughly translates to about 25. So yeah, yeah. no kidding. 80 is 50 percent. It's, 50%. Right, it's very rare that I have on. a run that misses zero mega kicks. 
Yeah. I would say that we'd want to be in Torrent at some point around here, but there's a fight coming up in Rock Tunnel, which is pretty dangerous. So um, we're, we're going to want to have high HP here just for safety anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we'll also be saving before that fight because it's yeah, it's, it's a quite really brutal. Fight if things go if things go bad, they go terrible. Yeah, a lot of runs have been lost to it. Yourself, especially. Did that flinch matter overly, or...? Um, it kept him from using anything. poison powder, which can be annoying. Um, but, no, generally there's nothing super serious that the Venonat can do to you. Right. Well, I guess he can confuse... confusion confuse you, so... Oh, actually... Yeah, oh well. Ooh, do you want to go in the center for the power plant, or...? Oh, I do. Yeah, That's okay, right. I'm glad I'm I mentioned so used it. to not doing that in, uh in my uh, current runs that it was just automatic. And in one of my practice right. runs, I got to skip it because I got a Pikachu early. Okay, I don't think we've mentioned that, so do you want to explain why that is? Why this center? Uh, so we have to get into the center so we can set the fly point to Rock Tunnel. All right. Uh, and we don't need to uh, heal there because we have this elixir. Yeah, so in this run, basically later on, at some point, we're going to want to fly back to that Pokemon Center so we can uh, swim to the power plant and catch itself like a Pikachu and some electric types and stuff like that. So we just need to enter the Pokemon Center and set a fly point. Mm -hmm. In the world record run, you also get Zapdos. But we are not getting yeah. Zapdos in this run. And what JP was talking about at his recent runs is if you catch a Pikachu in the forest, or there's a slightly different route that isn't marathon safe, then uh, you can skip the power bomb and catch extra Pokemon elsewhere to kind of balance it out. But unfortunately, we didn't get a Pikachu in the forest, so we can't really show off that route. But right, one we'll, be, we'll be able to go to the power bomb. Close enough. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that was that was pretty damn good. So that's uh that's a pretty specific movement that he just did to get in between the rock and the person to talk to them. Yeah. Because you want to talk to trainers instead of them, you know, getting the exclamation point above their heads and uh, starting the battle first, so you wanna to talk to them. That was really good movement to get that. I think we need some clappers in chat for that one. Uh it wasn't that good. Like, it could have been Still better. Still being so modest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, here's Martha. She's a bitch. Oh god, yep. I hope that was clapping, Fates. <laughs> uh, who's it who got clapping? <laughs> <laughs> Either way, it fit perfectly. Yeah, so... This, this Oddish is a range... ...with this Mega Kick. Oh, nice. One out two. Oddish doesn't have any attacking moves, but it has all the powders. Nice. All right. Good. I just safety Oddish saved. Oddish is like uh... your local drug dealer. I'm sorry. O Oddish is like the lo local drug dealer. He doesn't have anything to attack you with, but has all the powders. Exactly. And wow, that fight was incredibly easy. <laughs> But yeah, if you miss Mega Kick, you can get put to sleep, and then Vine Whip does a hell of a lot of damage, so you have to be careful about that. And yeah, missing Mega Kick on Bulbasaur fight. causes problems. Right. Alright, but that was... That was the only other, like, difficult fight uh, in Rock Tunnel. There's one more fight that I have to use a Mega Kick on, but I am not worried about that fight. I missed it. I'm supposed to talk to that guy, but I was just a little bit too late on the turn. I'm so guessing this is why you pick Squirtle. 
full these guys. Oh yes, Charmander can One make off. it through here actually, because Charmander and, and Charmeleon end up learning Metal Claw, and Metal Claw can deal with all the Rock type Pokemon. But Charmander gets walled hard by Riv Rival Two and Misty. Yeah. Like it's it's crazy how much he gets walled. Mm -hmm. And generally for the entire game, um, water and ice type moves just kind of have amazing coverage over, you know, the Elite Four and a lot of other things. So it's just a very, very solid um, choice in Squirtle compared to Charizard. What level does him chum under learn Metal Claw? I believe he learns it at 13. 13? Yeah. So you wouldn't even have it for block, would you? Yeah. It's just, you can do it, it just takes forever. Yeah, it's like the classic um, the Torchic situation in uh, Emerald. You can do it, but you have to get to level 16 to learn Double Kick. Yeah, exactly. The grinding wouldn't be worth the time. Uh, what's wrong with Bulbasaur? Other than, like, Rival 1. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> like, especially the, uh, the Elite Four. Like, Bulbasaur gets completely destroyed, or Venusaur. Like, the champion fight alone takes a lot of work to do with Venusaur. No, there's, there's no point even looking into it, Squirtle is just obviously the best choice. Both types tend to be that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're used in a lot of the Pokemon Except in the, newer, in the newer gens, like Gen 5 uses Tepic, because... Yeah, Tepic we get Emboar... Alucha. <laughs> <laughs> is that a starter? Shout out to Lucha. <laughs> oh, Lucha. I oh, know, Pokemon X is completely different. You don't well, even use the starter. technically, Chidinx is a starter in uh, X. <laughs> Farfetch'd. <laughs> Close enough, yeah. You'll notice that JP used Bite on that Geodude, and he will, um, if he has the opportunity to, just to save a PP. Yeah, it's, it's, it's obviously not just saves PP, but it saves frames too. It, okay, and it also yeah, saves yeah. the super effective text. Right, that's why. So I knew there was a reason. <laughs> I knew there was a reason for it. Alright, here's another spinner. Um, give me just a second to make sure I dodge him. Definitely so, want to uh, make sure I dodge that one because he has three slow pokes, and that takes forever. And I've already hit a spinner, so I definitely don't want to hit another one. I assume the reason you buy it is because it saves extra text frames because from water courses longer. And yep. Is that why the frame is saved? Okay. Yep, that's the I'm frame just... save, and then the super effective text skip is the other big thing. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is the last fight in Rock Tunnel. Um, hit the last Mega Kick. Which is good. I just look so upset in this game. Yeah. He's so upset because he's going to get Mega Kicked all the time. Pidgey just looks angry about it. Alright. We're out of Rock Tunnel. Hooray! Alright, so we go into this Pokemon Center in order to set the teleport point. And then we just move on. So one of the other big differences between this game and Gen 1 is that you do actually have to go to the game corner. You can't just use a Poké Doll on uh, the ghosts in order to get past them. You actually have to do it. Get the Silf Scope and then go through. But it's fine, because... Uh, You don't want to learn Protect. Oh, so you do. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you have to go through oh, the Rocket BBC Hideout. Uh, but the good news is the spin tiles are way faster in this game than they are in yeah. Red. Like, it's crazy. Anyway, I'm following a specific movement pattern through here to guarantee that I don't hit any trainers. Technically, the Poké Doll thing in Red a glitch. Eh, it's working as intended, but it's not what the developers intended. Like, 
That's why there's such a big debate between it in the Japanese community and the English community. The Japanese community bans it. English community allows it. Certainly all the times in the red leaderboard just go. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's probably why it's kept. Yeah. Alright, so we're picking up Eevee now. And then we're gonna go and. Oop. I was marking my uh, Pokedex counter at the same time. Uh, then we're gonna go and pick up a couple more items. Uh, we gotta get the coin case, because we need the coin case in order to buy more Pokemon. You don't get the coin case in any percent because you don't need it, it's not required. And uh, do you get the PP up? Yes. Like, around the corner here? Yeah, okay. I'm getting the PP up around the corner to sell later. Alright. The big Again, reason we like pick we up there. all this money early on is because we're going to do our entire buy uh, for the rest of the game. At least for, like, X items and such. Uh, right after this. Yeah. Uh, can you keep me updated on the, the number counter? Because I'll just put some text on the screen and update it myself. Oh, okay. Alright, yeah, sure. Right now it's 8 out of 60. Yep. I'll update it in chat whenever it goes up. Alright, so this guy is just standing in front of the poster and we need him to move. And in terms of the coins that we just got, we picked up a few coins and we bought 500 from the shopkeeper. And that gives us just enough coins to buy a fairy and to buy an Abra. And we'll do that when we warp out of the game corner, so we can go straight into the prize shop. Ooh, this Raticate's not giving you the best time. No, he's not. Actually, I don't think I did get enough. I think I forgot one of the coin drops. Is so it, I'm like, gonna... to the right, on top of the lottery thing? Yeah, the I forgot that game one. Machines? I gotta go grab that okay. real quick. Yeah, sure. By the way, this guy can walk through walls. <laughs> there we go. Alright. So here's the rocket hideout. Uh, we need to go down here and grab another PP up. Because money. Money makes the world grow around, and that's the exception in this game. We need a lot of it to prepare for late game, like getting a bunch of X items and stuff like that for the Pokemon League. So we'll be picking up a lot of items to help with money. Here's the other Max Ether. And then here is the Thief TM. Or no, Snatch, not Thief. Very similar. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what either of them do in battle, to be honest. Uh, Thief takes an item. A held item. As you would uh, think. So because we're in torrents, I can just torrent kill uh, both this coughing and this uh, Zubat with water gun. Yeah, you can water gun the coughing. <laughs> nice. And this guy stupidly just drops the lift key on Zoe. I just Can't thought you'd be a up. little bit more careful. Who has lift key? Oh no, I have the lift key. Oh no, he has the lift key. Ah! <laughs> Here's a rare candy. It's the last rare candy we need to, to evolve Blastoise. Uh, I'm dodging a spinner here. That guy has five Hopefully. Pokemon. If I hit him, it's really annoying. Yeah, and that's happened a couple times before. Yeah. Like, if you miss an input because you're just running, it's really awkward. But anyway, I got through him just fine. Yeah, and as you can see, those those uh, floor puzzles were done a little bit quicker, and you might have done them casually when the first time you played through these games. So Definitely faster than decision. the Gen 1 ones. Right. Alright. So 
right, so after this fight, I'm going to hit level 32, and then we're going to get Blastoise. Very useful to have Blastoise here. Mm -hmm. We're just going to spam the remaining rare candies we have. I'm going to make sure I'm on Blastoise first. Because I have accidentally used it on not Blastoise, which is a problem. Oh god. Uh, having Torrent is amazing strong. in this fight, by the way, because uh, Ekans does not die to a Water Pulse if you don't have it. Speed is not the greatest. My attack is pretty damn good. 55 speed. Here we go, Blastoise. This is, I need 6x speed. I'm still gonna buy some. Does that make the counter 9? That, uh, that does, does indeed. Make the counter 9. So we're making progress. We're getting it. Blast Rage. Alright, I'm out of Torrent now. Or at least I'm pretty sure I'm out of Torrent. But because I'm Blastoise now, I can do a lot more damage. Yeah, I'm out of Torrent. This Arbok is a damage range. Damn. I'm gonna save before Giovanni, because Kangaskhan can kill me. At least the Arbok um, didn't use Glare on you. So you didn't get paralyzed or anything like that. Like, the bite wasn't too bad. And where Giovanni is, there's a netball that JP got. And after this fight, he'll go and get the nest ball that's in between the trees on the other side. And they're just kind of convenient balls to try and catch Pokemon later on. Yeah, the nest ball is good for the Ghastly I'm going to try to catch, and the net ball is good for Tentacool. Right. Also, you notice I move potions down just for later. Onyx and Rhyhorn are not a problem. They both die to a water gun, no matter what. Kangaskhan is the issue. It takes three to four water pulses to kill, and Kangaskhan likes to tail whip Mega Punch you, and if that happens, we could be in trouble. Mega Punch 1. Now I'm in Torn, so it's definitely a 3 shot. Oh, nice! Crit. Wow. Again? Again. Damn you, JP. We're on a roll. <laughs> Alright. Now, we get that ball talking about. And we get now out of this get place. Up first. Oh, of course. You don't want to put out that. Gotta have that. Like I've done several times before. So we're going to max Ether Water Pulse. Potion back up. And then Escape Rope out. Alright, and now we buy... Clefairy. And Abra. And that's another difference between playing this game on Fire Red and Leaf Green, right? Yes. In Leaf Green, um, Clefairy costs 780 versus 600. Uh, Abra costs like 150 or something. 
but uh, that difference in money is very large for this. Hey, yeah, those Pokemon didn't uh, annoy me. That's good. Alright, now it's time for shopping. So yeah, we just did my fa personal favorite part of the run, and I'm not sure about you, Fades, but it, it's definitely close to my heart. And he just grabbed the tea. Well, I missed that. I was busy trolling keys one. Oh, okay. Uh, I, gra I grabbed tea. It's uh, Salad's favorite part of the run. Yeah, it's mm. it's my favorite as yeah. as a British citizen. Gotta love the tea. Oh. <laughs> Shame there are no crumpets in this game, but hey, you take what we can get. So I'm here we just. Yep, go on. Yeah, we're just kind of selling the items that we've collected up until now, and then buy a bunch of other stuff. When I'm Supreme Dignitary of Japan, I'll make sure crumpets are in. To do 5,000 HP healing. <laughs> That'd be great. So we're getting a few stones here, evolve stuff later on. We kind of know exact, uh, well not exactly, but we know roughly what kind of Pokemon we'll be getting, so the stones are all calculated buys. We don't just buy random amounts of, of all of them. And here we'll be getting a certain amount of um, X specials and stuff like that that prepare us later on when we go into the Elite Four and a couple of fights on the Sapphire Islands where we need them. Basically right now we're just stocking ourselves so the rest of the game goes nice and smoothly. And there's only like a couple minor shop after this one that we'll be looking at and that's mostly to get Ultra Balls because as you can tell with the whole round two thing we're going to be needing to catch a few more Pokemon so we'll need some Ultra Balls later on. All right. You'll also notice that I uh, bought two Poké Dolls. I said that we wouldn't need it for Silphco, or not Silphco, for Pokémon Tower, but we do need it for Cerulean Cave later because there are Pokémon there that can outspeed you, and it'll just waste time. So we just buy two Poké Dolls just to be on the safe side. Ah, oh, that. <laughs> Oh, she moved right yeah. in a second. Okay. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> Anyways, uh... Go ahead and teach Fly to, Ch to Chiding now. Uh... Move Super Potions down. Down here. Evolve Eevee. So here's where I was saying earlier comes into play about clearing space in your party. So we can just evolve Eevee and Clefairy in the next menu that we get, which is this one. So we'll be doing a couple evolutions here. Brings us to 13 total. Uh, yep, I don't need to potion. Alright, and we teleport back to Lavender. And will we be climbing the Pokemon Tower just yet? Uh, well, we go up one floor, but then Gary decides to get in the way. We're gonna right. save here. Yes. So we're at 13 total Pokemon. Pretty good pace, actually. Yeah, it's been a good run so far. You haven't had to reset once? No. Nope. This is gonna end up PBing. <laughs> Alright. Not gonna lie, I can't remember anything about this fight. I think you use an X special. Yep. And then some stuff. So th this fight is very easy in terms of the rival fights.
like because you're such a high level because you're meant to do this tower you know a bit before now so we're quite the high level and uh, oh shoot i didn't equip the chest out whoops <laughs> oh dang you did so much in the menu and the evolutions and everything i guess Yeah, so that fight should be easy if we have the Chester Berry to take the sleep from the Ivysaur. Because again, if, if you uh, don't have a status affliction on the first time that Ivysaur comes out, he's most likely going to be sleep powder on you. So the Chester Berry just kind of covers you yeah. and makes the fight a lot easier. They're just a small... I have the there. Cherry Berry equipped instead. Right. Oh well. Minor time loss. Oh, you should... Just as I was saying about yours and how you haven't reset yet. Yeah. I'm sorry. I jinxed it. Oh, well, it was bound to happen at one point. Alright. And I gotta scroll all the way down. Back to X specials. Pulse. Good. Oh, and of course, there I get to flinch. Oh, that's what I wanted. Of course, that's what I wanted before. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, Gyarados can take uh, two or three hits. It'll probably take two uh, because of my very high special attack stat. Um, I want him to use Thrash. Okay, or he can just get crit. That works too. Wow, again? Again? Just, just a casual another crit. Not bad. Just a casual one-shot crit. You know. Mm -hmm. Saves a turn. <laughs> yeah. By the way, rip the single segment dream. I uh, know. <laughs> All right. Then just casually sweep the rest of them. Yeah. Not Everybody very difficult dies fight. to bite except for the Kadabra. The Kadabra does die to bite, but Water Pulse kills it, which saves super effective text, so... Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we need to catch now. a Ghastly or a Cubone. If we run into a Cubone, we will definitely attempt to catch Cubone. But uh, Ghastly is far more common. Uh, Haunter is do not catch. There's Ghastly. Good. Level 18. A little bit more difficult to catch with in this ball. Damn. No. Ah, uh, he cursed. Okay. I'm still gonna go for it though. Right. I so at this use, point, I can still use Pokeballs poke on the Gasly. So. And yeah. I have a Revive. We don't need the Poke. Mm -hmm. We don't need the Pokeballs. Um, pretty much from this point onwards. So we can just waste as many as we want to try and catch this Ghastly. That's 14. Awesome. And you're at a good HP level for Brent, I guess? Yes. Uh, quick attacks are a little bit scary, but uh, nothing that I can't handle. Right. And you'll level up a couple of times, so yes. I'm pretty sure that Marowak won't be able to one-shot you. No, no, no. I, I one-shot Marowak. Oh, right. You outspeed it and everything, yeah. too. Here's a spinner. The spinner's crazy. Oh, wow. It's looking down. That's rare. <laughs> Yeah, th this is a weird spinner because she'll look all over the place, but it's it's one of those that you really don't expect to hit when you're doing runs. Like when she turns away, you just walk past it, and it's it's very rare that you'll actually hit her. But it's happened a couple times. And... Yeah, it's annoying. Fortunately, with Bagmanip, it's not a problem. Right. <laughs> Wait, are you on 14 now? Yes, I am on 14. We are indeed. If I get sand attacked by the uh, Pidgeotto at uh, the rival fights, I use an X accuracy and go down and get a spare X accuracy. That way I don't have to buy another, and that way I don't have to swap out from an X special. Uh, these Ghastly up ahead die to Water Gun in one shot. So it's just slightly faster to use Water Gun there. And once again, Talk to every trainer you can. Uh, 
So coming up after the tower is going to be Lieutenant Surge. We're finally going to go and beat him. And compared to any percent, um, with this route, it is so much easier. Because yeah. in any percent, you have to deal with Raichu's double team. And you have to use Mega Kick to kill him. Neither of which are optimal. But we outspeed him and can just kill him in a single water pulse right now. So we're all good. All right. All right. You're at a decent enough HP, man. Like, one quick attack won't really kill you. But I guess if you get quick attack by everything. Yeah, yeah. Like it would be a problem then. One thing to know about uh, this section here, um, I'm walking straight up through and letting them just see me rather than talk to them, because it was actually discovered that it would take longer, uh, just slightly longer, uh, for you to go up and talk to them. Um, it was actually discovered to be faster even in TAS. Uh, water pulse, yes. So we just walk straight up through. Yeah, this tower is is pretty damn underwhelming in terms of the battles. Like, especially when your Blastoise is uh, so overleveled as we have it. Pretty much every fight in here is... Well, uh, this, this Drowsy, free. if you don't have Torrens and you don't have Amazing Special Attack, can prove to be a problem. But otherwise, right. there's no other That's difficult true. fight. Yeah. Because this, this coughing dies in a single Water Gun with Torrens. Water Pulse, if not. And then Drowsy dies in a torrented water pulse or if you've got high enough special attack a bite if you don't have either of those then you gotta mega kick it and if you're out of mega kicks that's a problem all right so this next fight has Rattata and Raticate. I kind of want one of them to quick attack me that way I can potion and be at a decent health. But still in Torrent. Yeah. Because if I potion now, I'll pop out a Torrent, and that's terrible. But if I get quick attacked, then I don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. You'll find a lot of this run is kind of uh, HP manipulation. Yes. So you wanna... HP manipulation and PP manipulation on top of that. Yes. PP management, rather. And okay, earlier so on, there was... The okay. Oh, I should have bit the Rattata. Whatever. I'm going to be teaching a little water gun later anyway. Yeah. Alright. And that's the end of our, uh, Pokemon Tower. Alright. So because I don't have Surge's badge, I gotta actually bike to Vermilion again. Unfortunate, but... Yeah, that's one of the reasons why um, early Surge is a lot faster, because you don't have to make this return trip. Uh, obviously the gym goes a little bit faster because you're so overleveled and you kind of want your everything and you don't have to worry too much. But uh, there's a very long trip to get there, so it does lose you a bit of time over the early surge route. And we'll give tea to the guard, who is obviously British. Mm -hmm. All the guards are. Mm -hmm. We get to see Saffron City, and then we get to beef Saffron City. All right, that was a guys. nice trip. In the chat, I need hype for cans. These, oh, God, this yeah. is the most RNG part of the game. I need trash can hype. I need golden cans. Let's go golden cans. Golden cans. Dang, no first try cans. But nice thing about nice thing about RTA, you can actually save before checking the next can. And it'll right, still so be if... the same can. 
Yeah. So the first switch has already been picked, and um, he could just keep resetting until he chooses the correct second can. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Two down. I'm pressing B to skip through the journal stuff, by the way. If you don't press yeah. B, it's a lot harder. So as you can see, the location of this can was kind of right in the middle. So there were four options that it could have been. It would have been much better if it was uh, right in the corner, so there were only two options. And um, it would have been much quicker, but... Oh well. We still got past it fairly yep. quickly, I guess. Yep. Technically... Uh, second try cans, so... Right. Like yep. Now this guy's pretty easy. Weak. Because yep. we were meant to fight him two years ago. And this HP might look a little bit scary, considering we're going against, you know, the electric gym and everything. But no, because we're in Torrent, just kind of one shot everything, so we just sweep through everything. And I outspeed right you. Right. The big uh, thing is I, I guarantee you. Raichu. If I didn't outspeed mm -hmm. right you, this would not be an HP I would want to be at. No. Alright, I'm swapping moves here. Because I'll be teaching Surf Over Water Gun. Yep. In a bit. And then uh, Raichu will die to a water boss. And that is Lieutenant Surge. Mm -hmm. And now is where the run starts to get a little bit uh, interesting. And now, now's Pokemon where the meat heavy. of the run comes in. Yeah. yeah. We we've gone through the top of the sandwich. We had we we had the foundation with the bread. We've got uh, some lettuce in there with some extra Pokemon. Uh, got some cheese with Jading. But now it's time to get into the meat of the game, of this category. Yeah, the fun part. It's not Snorlax. Uh, <laughs> no. We do, we do have to wake up Snorlax and move him, but we don't catch him. We don't have any yeah, Ultra Great Balls, and we would have to deal so much damage to him. It's just not worth trying to catch him for just one Pokemon. Right. Although, technically, if you just YOLO Pokeballed for him, then it would be, you know, it would be faster. Yeah, It'd be great to catch to him, but <laughs> it's just not worth it. So we just run away from this guy and continue our journey. Awkward section here with a few spinners. Yeah, two spinners I have to dodge, and I can't just do one manipulation and beat them. Also, here's a rare candy. Right. And a max elixir. Alright. Now. <laughs> now it's time for Safari Zone. Oh, baby. Outside of trash cans, the most brutal RNG in this entire game. I mean, definitely worse than trash cans in no, my opinion. No, no, trash cans is worse. Trash cans is worse. You think? Worse. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. in, okay. in RTA, or not in RTA, in uh, single segment, this is way worse. Yeah. Okay. Sure. At least, so, yeah. like, Safari Zone. Because, like, they can run away. You can't do anything about it. You can't damage the Pokemon because you're not allowed to use it. Hey, a Parasect. Get in the ball. Oh, God. So, in theory, I want to find a Venonat in here. There goes Parasect. <laughs> Finding a Venonat in this section here uh, gets me a Tangela later as well. What? Two Parasects? What? Wow. Parasect is a Pokemon that you don't really want to see because it's incredibly difficult to catch and uh, it would just kind of run away. And also because we catch a Paras later, that's one level away from becoming no, a Parasect. You can we just catch a Paras that is level 22 instead of level 23. Yeah. yeah. So generally for, so, uh, for the um, Pokemon that are basically bonuses, um, I'm going to throw a rock at them if they don't get in first ball. 
Rhyhorn is one of the two Pokemon I can throw a rock at and reliably have it not run away. Uh, the other is Execute. But yeah, there are a few Pokemon that we kind of prioritize here. Venonat being one of them because we can use it for a trade later, so it kind of counts as two Pokemon. And uh, we've got the Nidorans as well, which is uh, the Nidorans because they have so many evolutions and they're quite quick and everything, Good. so they're definitely up there. You caught it? Nice. Yeah. And also Execute is another one because you can just use Leaf Stone to evolve it. Mm -hmm. And we bought the Leaf Stone earlier. Yeah, Stone Pokemon, the Nidos, uh, which are Stone Pokemon, but all the Pokemon that have like three evolutions or up are useful. Right. So here's Nidoran. Got him. That's 16. Uh, I'm going to go two more encounters to try and get a Venonat, because Venonat is super useful. I can get a Venonat later um, in the Berry Forest. I can try for one, but it's a 10% chance there, too. So I'd rather get it early. Mm. Nidorina is actually not what I want, because I still need a Nidoran female. Oh, hey. Do you even know? No. Oh! Okay. Ah, that sucks. One more. No. <sighs> Come on. Ah, there we go. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, so I guess we kind of went silent there because um, Scyther is a fairly rare Pokemon and its catch rate is exceedingly low and it also likes to run away a lot after one Pokeball, so we're kind of just sitting there thinking, oh, come on, can we get a Scyther? And there's a few other Pokemon like that in the Safari Zone, like Chartsy, Kangaskhan, and Tauros. So if we run into one of those, then I guess uh, JP will try to catch it. Sweet but it's not very likely that we'll be able to catch one. But it'd be really cool if we managed to get one during this uh, run. All right, got a Venonat. And yeah, there's the Venonat, which is very, very uh, useful later on. So now we move on to area one. That was the entrance area. This is area one. Are we on 17 right now? Yes. yes. Okay, good, because I've just been guessing. <laughs> there's Doduo, sweet. That's the Pokemon mm -hmm. I really wanted from this segment, or from this section. And uh, after this, you'll see that he grabs a Leaf Stone. Yes, I'll and be grabbing uh, a Leaf Stone that's... up here. That'll give me the mm -hmm. second one I need. Right, so we can evolve, execute, and Wait. what's the other one? Gloom. There we go. Got there in the end. Okay, literally the only difference uh, between Leaf Green and Fire Red is that money. I don't want you here, Paris. <laughs> yeah, as we uh, said before, uh, yeah, I'm on so a level 23, Paris. Yeah, level 23 is preferable. Dude. Either run away or get in the wall. Um, if it wasn't for the money route, you could do it on Leaf Green too, and you would just catch Bellsprout instead of Oddish. Um, later on, you'd catch a Vulpix instead of Growlithe. Uh, Cough Paris, so that's 18 now. Okay. Or, sorry. No, that's 19 now. Doduo is 18. Right, gotcha. Uh, here's Nidorino. If I catch Nidorino, that'll be very good. That saves me a rare candy. Nice. You got him? Got him. So that's Damn, 20 okay. Now. Uh, They're fairly the hard only to catch. thing I haven't gotten yet is an Execute. If I get an Execute, yes. uh, this will be a very good Safari Zone. So I'm going to move on to Area 2. And I definitely want my bundle of eggs. And he appeared. Don't screw with me, Execute. Get in the wall. Please. Ah, <laughs> oh, Execute. 
execute. How dare you? We got a couple more opportunities. Yeah. We might have to kind of ride around on the grass a little bit. Yeah, Until I really we find want one. to leave with an execute. Yeah. Outside of that, this has been a really good safari zone. Yeah, it has. This can be one of the most brutal RNGs to deal with. Basically, if I don't get Execute, I need to get two bonus Pokémon to make up for it. Alright, there we go. Can I just confirm oh, the counter? Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm bad at keeping track. Yeah, plenty, I'm right. Yeah, we're at 20. Yeah. Hopefully 21, kinda soon. Yeah, I'm gonna do two more encounters that I'm just gonna skip through because I don't wanna spend forever here. And I'm probably right. gonna be out of steps soon. I should actually check that yeah. real quick. I shouldn't be too low on steps, but. 218, yeah. I'm still fine. Oh, screw off, Paris. Alright, one more after this, and then I'm out of here. Not gonna waste time. I can possibly get one in Berry Forest later. Alright, I'm out of here. Unfortunate, but it happens sometimes. Yeah. Alright, so there's some gold teeth there. We're gonna get strength with those later. There's a hidden revive here. And there's Surf here. I guess you're on a fairly solid count anyway. Like, you got the Ghastly, is one thing that I thought about. So you're not so, doing too whoa. bad, and Trolling missing things. the Execute. Yeah, Doesn't 20 Pokemon is fine. Okay, so we taught Surf, which is a pretty dominant water type move that we'll be using for the rest of the game. Yep. It and is sweep our way through. The best water type move we can get. Yep. And now we're going to Koga's Gem. There are two spinners we've got to dodge. They can both be bag manipulated. That was the first. This guy is mandatory. He's got four Pokemon. Uh, they all died to Torrent and Surf. I'm going to be at like 26 HP after this. Um, I'm going to use a super potion and then go into Koga. If I was at a little bit higher HP, like if I was inside the 30s, I wouldn't heal and I would go for a super risky strat. Uh, but that is not doable at this HP level. It's basically the same strat that I'm going to do anyway, except... Uh, without the next special. There's right, also this is one of the strat. reasons. There's also a third strat that you can do with uh, with this, but it's not really viable. Right. Okay. And uh, earlier on in the game, there's like an Oran Berry somewhere near Bill's house. And I always used to pick that up to kind of manipulate my HP. So if at this point I was on 26 HP, the Oran Berry would put me at like a decent enough level to where I could pull off the strat on Koga. But uh, it doesn't really matter because it, it doesn't save too much time. If you do a kind of second strat. Well, if you get the Oran Berry, you can't do dash or skip. Right, it's right there. yeah. But I wasn't very good at dash skip, so yeah. I didn't do it anyway. Yeah. Gotcha. It's good to have if you're not confident on dash or skip and you want to like be like double, triple insured on your battles. Anyway, here's Koga. Yeah. 
Nice guy. Yeah, ninja. This muck, uh, I set up one X special on the muck. Hopefully it uses, like, acid armor or something. And takes two surfs. Toxic's annoying, that means I lose the pack of berry. But I hit both surfs, so that's good. Mm -hmm. This is not one of the hardest fights in the game, really. No, it, it, with the old strat, it used to be very hard. The old strat mm -hmm. was double X special on the coughing, then sweep with surf. But the problem with that is the coughing can smoke screen you, and he can just ruin your time that way. And then he can also self destruct, which just kills you. So this is much safer because you don't get that from Muck. Alright, yes. and Koga down. Mm -hmm. And now we get Toxic. Uh, Toxic's gonna let us catch a bunch of Pokemon uh, at a higher catch rate than normal. It's one of the reasons that um, we can go without Zapdos. Because one of the theories before we discovered the toxic, the toxic strat was get Eradicate and then teach him uh, Thunder Wave from one of the guys in Silphco and just use Thunder Wave <laughs> that way. Uh, wow. But that isn't really optimal. This is a whole lot better. And you only need three attacking moves uh, right now, so it's not a huge deal. Yeah. All right, so we got Strength. Let me bike over to the mark and buy a bunch of Ultra Balls. Right, so this is where the kind of the catching thing comes in. We're going to be doing quite a lot of catching after this smart visit. And uh, we're going to be wanting to teach Toxic and things like that to Blastoise now. Yes. And we're just going to go on a bit of a catching spree, so I hope you enjoy looking around the wonderful world of Kanto as we catch Pokemon. It's gonna be great. Toxic over Mega Kick because Mega Kick is no longer useful. We have much better things to do. Is that because you have strength? Yes. Uh, well, I don't have strength taught yet, but Mega Kick, I can kill everything with Surf now. Like, it's not useful. Alright, so now we're gonna fly oh. back to the power plant. Well, fly back to Rock Tunnel so that we can go to the power plant. I healed up so that I don't get killed by, like, a critical spark or something like that, because that's just time-wasting. Alright, so down this surf lane, uh, we want to run into a tentacool. And we'll catch it with a netball. Good. Right, and if you don't run into a tentacool during that, there's a little patch, um, Away from Pallet Town to Cinnabar, that we do a little bit later, and uh, you can get the tentacle there if you really want to. I'm gonna try a Pokeball, and Did if it doesn't get in, I'm gonna just go. <laughs> yeah, Did a level good. 7 tentacle just escape your netball? Yeah, it's very rare that it happens. Netball usually gives you wow. a. Ah! Oops. I was one tile too far. Well, alrighty then. We'll be seeing what Pokemon this, this guy, guy has, but no, be... that... This guy should No, but yeah, that whole netball thing was was really interesting. That's awkward. Like, yeah. I've actually never run into this really? guy. Oh god. I was at way Wait wide. Time. Probably four extra spaces than I needed to, to get away from this guy. I usually just go straight up. I thought I was in line, but I wasn't. Alright, anyway, here's the power plant. Uh, oh, we have a question. There's a gender. Uh, and then we just run around and hope to find a Raichu, or a Pikachu, Magnemite, Voltorb, that sort of stuff. Yeah. The gender, the gender doesn't matter in this one, does it? It's um, the same. The only, pers the only fight where gender matters is Lorelei. Um, Lorelei's Jinx knows the track, so if you're the Blastoise is male, uh, that can prove to be a problem. 
but you're generally going to be faster than her anyway. Uh, but what about um, train agenda? Train agenda doesn't matter at all, does it? No, no, no. Didn't think so, because in uh, some of like, the other gens of the games, like Sapphire and Emerald, it does matter. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, in, in uh, Fire Red, it's really a personal preference. Alright, so here's Pikachu. Uh, we use Toxic on it. Thunder Wave's annoying. But the uh, Toxic does a little bit... Do, it gives you a better catch rate than Paralyze, I think? Or it gives you the same tax... the same... I can't remember. Mm -hmm. But it ends up... Whatever it is, it makes it a lot more likely. Like, it's, it's a pretty damn consistent way to make sure you, that you catch them first try. Right, so that's and 22. You've had some pretty good luck here so far as well. You've had the first two encounters pretty quickly. That's unfortunate. Ooh. It knocked me into Torrent. Alright. <laughs> I should probably heal the paralysis. Yeah, the power plant can be quite a tricky area. With uh, high level magnetons and electabuzz. Because obviously, you know, electric types. I'm sticking around are pretty for a good. Toward, by the way. Yeah, we want extra Pokemon here. Yeah, just because we missed Tentacool, I definitely want to get all three possibles here. Sure. You could always try pulling Tentacool on the way to Cinnabar, but... I, I already used uh, the Netball. It's healed. not worth it anymore. Okay, sure. I'm not completely out of Pokemon, so... And there's more that you can make up later. Yeah, exactly. Even if you don't particularly want to. Giving myself a little bit of an HP buffer. And we're flying to Pewter City to get the old Amber, so that we can get Aerodactyl later. Then after that, we're going to go to Diglett Cave and catch Diglett. How are we doing on time, by the way? Uh, what's uh, my time? Fate? Your time is 1.52.25. Okay, still on good pace. One sec, I'll be right back. If you need to update the calendar, just put all the things you yeah, need to update to again. Gotcha. So, now we catch it to Diglett. Mm -hmm. And uh, thankfully, we've got the Diglett here, we've got the old Amber and Pewter. And also, we can go down into the forest, and uh, if we needed to, and catch the bugs that we didn't catch earlier. But because uh, JP got quite lucky in the forest earlier. He managed to get both a Caspi and a Weedle, so we don't have It's to not that I got that. lucky, it's more that I didn't get unlucky. Getting unlucky is not getting both. Right. <laughs> yeah. So this is kind of a bunch of Pokemon in the same area here, as well as the one that we're about to get, which is a trade for... Um, we trade an Abra for a Mr. Mime. Or a Jinx? Mr. Mime. I think it's a Mr. Mime. Yeah, the Jinx is for Slowbro, I think, the other trade. So we'll be doing that too, and then we'll be on to the next place. Right. That's another trade, and 24 out of 60 Pokemon caught. 25, actually. I 25. Think, uh, right, okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
else I'm missing. A lot of the routing, like, takes into account having to go and get different Pokémon. And if you don't have certain Pokémon, what to do then. But some of that is on the fly as well. So, like, after I get through the Sevi Islands uh, for the first time, I'm going to be doing a lot of figuring out of what Pokémon I still need. And how long I need to spend in a given area. And now we're on our way down to Cinnabar Island. I took the heal there so that I don't accidentally get killed by a coughing, because coughing in the mansion knows self-destruct. Yep. Okay, didn't take my uh, bike input, whatever. All right, so in here, Optimally, I want a Growlithe, a Coughing, and a Raticate. Rattata is fine too. Yeah, there's a few other Pokemon you get, like a Rattata. Rattata? Nice. Yeah. Uh, either. I think it's a Muck in this version? Can you no, you can't get Muck in here. You can it's find easy. a Grimer. If this was Leaf Green, you would be able to find uh, Muck in here. Right, and you don't really want to stay around for a wheezing because no, they can we, be pretty wheezing damn dangerous. No, wheezing does infinite damage, pretty much. Yes, and then we can also get a ditto on the final floor. But I'm not sure if you'll be trying to do that. It's possible, I guess. We could get a ditto as well. Yes, that's on the ground floor. I actually kind of want to run into a ditto because you use a cool strat to catch him. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Does that involve switching out? It does. Ah, okay. I've never thought of that. It's clever. Alright, yeah, that would be nice. Three Rattatas in a row is very unlucky. There's a coughing. Ah, my special attack's too good. Ooh. My special attack is too yes. good. The level 28s will die to a bite. Level 30s will be able to survive, though. Right. Uh, uh, might as well go for it. Some of them will live. There we go. Okay, so we kind of get to the point of the run now. Uh, we, we're starting to get a little bit overpowered for the wild Pokemon, so we might start to kill a few. So we have to choose our moves carefully, whether we want to use Surf to, to lower them to um, like 1 HP or whatever, or whether we want to use Bite or Toxic. So we just kind of pick our move and uh, whatever, we'll put it on the lowest HP and more chance to catch it. Alright, so we pick up the Iron here for money. If you'll notice earlier, we picked up a Protein in uh, Safari Zone. We need that for money as well. Avoid that guy. Pick up that Carbos there, but after we catch this Growlithe? No, not Growlithe. <laughs> the reason we have the second Firestone is for the Growlithe that's in the mansion. Not getting it is very unfortunate. So many coughings now. Got another coughing? Wow. Yeah, I'm running into they a just, lot of coughings. They I'd just like keep to run into, like, Grimer or Ditto or Growlithe. Hey! Growlithe, hey! There we go. And we love this guy, because we happen to have a Firestone yep. ready to evolve him. Exactly. Good one. We really want this guy. I'm gonna go two more encounters to try and get uh, Raticates and Ditto. Hopefully I run into Renicate. Renicate is 30%. So it's pretty likely. I'm also gonna go way over here and grab a full restore. Okay. 
intimidate bro. And there's Rackie. Okay. 34. Oops. As you can see, just yep, okay. As you can see, catching a reticate isn't the easiest thing in the world. It takes a couple of tries sometimes. All right, that's twenty-nine. And before we start to catch more Pokemon, have another chance to uh, go get some Ultra Balls. So it doesn't matter if we run out here that Most much because we'll just buy some. Yeah, okay. I don't need anything more. Unfortunately, I couldn't do the ditto strat. <laughs> Swap out to a uh, Weedle or Caterpie, whichever one's in your party, and ditto automatically becomes that. And then you just uh, chuck Ultra Balls until it gets caught. Because it copies the catch rate as well, which is nice. Oop, not killed. Use. We don't need Water Pulse anymore, so we teach Blizzard over Water Pulse. And that Blizzard is to go with the Fabled Water Ice uh, combination to give a lot of coverage for late game, especially when we get to um, the rivals Venusaur. We desperately need Blizzard to help us out there because we got rid of Mega Kick earlier and Mega Kick wouldn't have really helped us for the Venusaur because we need to one-shot it as quickly as possible. Alright, time for the quiz game. Oh god. Good luck, JP. Yeah, Good I luck know. on the quiz. This, this quiz is so hard. <laughs> Don't mess one up now. <laughs> now that you've said that. And uh, we're actually going to be doing something interesting here. On uh, the third, the fourth trainer. Third. And we're just going to fight him for fun. Eh, a little final. bit more than fun. Nice thing about this trainer is A, he gives enough experience to uh, put Caterpie to level 8. Uh, which allows him to evolve, obviously. But the other nice thing about this trainer is he gives you 3,000 Poké Dollars uh, as soon as you beat ah. him. So that helps out a lot. That's mildly annoying. At least he didn't use Bounce or something. Yeah. <sighs> but no, that guy is just gonna selectively picked out as one that's uh, pretty easy to evolve your Caterpie. And we'll be doing the same for Weedle later in the 8th oh, gym in level Viridian. Nine. Nice. nice. Alright, so this is 30. So we're halfway there. Yes. Not bad. This is in Pokemon this and in time, probably. <laughs> At yeah, the current pace we're at. Two hours, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that opens the door, and then we continue our quiz game. I'm mashing B uh, for no, and mashing A for yes. So I just have the answers memorized. And I just be sure to mash the correct button. If only Tombstoney was a real move. <laughs> Life would be so much better. And now, same as before, we have Cat to be at the front of our party, so. We're just gonna let him uh, get some experience at the well, start of this he's, fight. He's Metapod now. Oh yeah, of course. So we, we need him to tank all these hits with his supreme defense and harden ability. But yeah, this this will evolve him and get us another one in the Pokédex. Mm -hmm. 
and this fight not the most difficult of fights because you just kind of spam surf and everything dies apart from apart from the RK9. Cool. All right. So he used fire blast. There was a chance he could have burned me, in which case I would have had to full restore, and that's annoying. But instead, he didn't burn me, and I'm in torrent now, which just allows me to sweep. I X speeded um, because um, Rapidash definitely outspeeds me, and if your speed is low enough, the Arcanine, outspeed, the Arcanine outspeeds you. And we really don't want either of those to outspeed us, so we use an X speed there in order to ensure it. Rapidash was definitely going to outspeed me with my speed IV. Uh, but not Arcanine. I'm pretty sure I would have beat Arcanine. But yeah. Rapidash needed to die. So we're in Torrent, but we lost the Pekka Berry. Um, that means I can't really do um, a strat on the goons that you fight in Sevi Islands. So I have to just heal. So here's 31. And now we're going to be saying yes to Bill. Yes. In any percent, this if you say yes to Bill, your run dies. If you say no, your run continues. In this game, uh, if you say no, you just have to go to the Pokemon Center uh, and talk to him again. Um, and saying yes, your run continues. You also get Fire Blast here. We'll be teaching Fire Blast to uh, Mewtwo later. And not selling it. Yes. In the Zapdos route, by the way, uh, after you beat Blaine, you go on to uh, Silph Co. and get the Master Ball in order to go to Power Plan to catch Zapdos. And Zapdos deals with all the upcoming Pokemon. But we're not doing that. We're using Blastoise. Because Blastoise is just as good for this section. So here's Bill, but this time he's not cosplaying as a Clefair. Correct. Yeah, he's he's actually being uh, he's actually just normal right now. Yeah, maybe cosplaying is banned on Cinnabar. Eh, maybe it's his it it it's his like just downtime hobby. Right. Uh, here's a long cutscene. I'm just gonna be mashing through all this. So this is guy who has a computer. He wants your help for something, so you're like, sure. Pretty fun stuff. <laughs> Alright, so we get Tripass, Meteorite, and town map. Uh, the meteorite we're gonna give to a guy uh, to get a moonstone. And Tripass lets us go everywhere. So I took the center there because I don't want to waste healing items, because healing items are really important to have. Come on, get in. Yeah, the next few uh, couple fights are against the Jamucks and coughing and I'm actually gonna save and stuff. Before, I'm actually going to save before it because I want to make sure that Definitely. it goes off without a hitch. Yeah. Okay, it guys, shouldn't. my shift's up now, so I'll see you guys later. All right. All right, Good, man. See you, Good job. Mates. See you later. By the way, in case you missed it because I mashed through the uh, the selection for where to go, this is Two Island, as he very conveniently tells you. Mm -hmm. Now we're heading to Three Island. Make your computer easy. 
And this is four fights in a row. That's the main reason why I'm gonna save here. Because <laughs> having to do four fights in a row without a chance to heal can be rough. Especially if... Yeah. Um, it's mostly the last fight that has the problem. The wheezing knows self-destruct, and that can do like, 100 damage to you, easy. Oh. Oops. I forgot to swap Butterfree out. I'll just let Butterfree die. Oh, god. <laughs> right. Fortunately, Blastoise is next on the list. Can you stop using Smokescreen? <laughs> Thank you. Rip Butterfree. <laughs> In one of my practice runs, I accidentally had Blastoise third on the list. So not only did I have to have, uh, at the time, Beedrill die, but I also had to have uh, Chiding die in the next fight. Oh god. Which was awkward. Yeah, thankfully that didn't happen this time. Looks like Fades and Rob are having a little bit of trouble switching over. Yeah. There's a stream So I think we... Uh, yeah, your stream is perfect on your end. So I think we're just going to have to do a bit of a play-by-play. -play. That's fine. Wait, is... So the... <laughs> Alright, wait. Oh, it hits back. Alright. Okay. Uh, this we'll is damage it. range on low IV, but with my IV being so high, I am not worried about it. There we go. Full confidence. Alright chat, calm down, we're fine. The stream is back. Alright, so this wheezing uh, is a range. If it lives, it can use self-destruct. You use smoke screen, that's worse. Yeah, this is a rather kind of tricky fight, I guess. Or it can be. Oop, you, Get lucky. Getting poisoned there is rough. Ooh, that's... Uh, not liking my odds here. Mm. Alright, there we go. And the poison is a bit annoying, because yeah, I have I'm to gonna, heal that off. I'm going to full restore, so... All right. right, you can collect the full restore from the guy, right? I, the I just employee person. It. Wait, they give you a full restore? Yeah, the one at the top. Oh. I think... Oh. Yeah? All right, Second. there we go. Okay. Oh, it was, it was that, on the left, that's, my that's bad. That's fine, I'm okay with having a free full restore. <laughs> right. I need to sell. As a quick check-in, the counter's at 31, right? It yes. is, yes. Okay, wasn't sure if we missed one in the end. It has yeah, we're fine. We'll be catching a few in a second, though, so it'll be going up and down, and I'll make sure to post you on TeamSpeak. Yeah, we're buying a bunch of balls here. We want 15. And then with the rest of the money, we'll just kind of go... Well, no, and the escape ropes. And, and the, enough escape bells. ropes. Yeah. The escape ropes are for, for, like, a few buildings, like the rocket hideout. And then later on, when we go to get Mewtwo in Cerulean Cave. So we get enough escape ropes to deal with all of that now. So we don't have to worry about it later. And there's a great double battle coming up that we're going to be missing. Oh, and that's a that's a quite a lucky encounter Not really. in this patch of grass. 
like a Pidgeotto. Oof. Oh, the whirlwind. Yeah, that's why okay. it's not really that good. <laughs> right. Whirlwind is it was annoying. looking good until the whirlwind that's, happened. That's also annoying. That should be a guaranteed catch. And Oddish is a very um, good Pokemon to get because we're gonna evolve it to Gloom with one rare candy, and then Leaf Stone it to evolve it again. So he kind of counts as three Pokemon. I like how I and... picked up the extra candy or the extra antidote, and I didn't need it. Or uh, I yeah. haven't needed it yet. Yeah, you've been pretty good with the poisons. Right. Uh, the next fight is annoying. Pidgey. It's interesting. Gonna be X accuracy, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this next girl has um, a Bulbasaur and two Ivysaurs, or something of that nature. That's correct. So we use an X accuracy and try to sweep with Blizzard. If you know one of them misses, then we can use Blizzard again. Hopefully, we won't miss. All right, thirty-three. All right, we're getting we're getting some higher numbers now. I would have rather caught the Pidgeotto, because I can evolve it into a Pidgeot. Mm -hmm. But we have another chance inside the forest to get that as well. Yep. Alright, so here's that fight. Uh, yeah, we X Accuracy and then we have to Blizzard everything. And X Accuracy, does it move it from 80 to 92%? Is it uh, something like that? Something like that. I think it's 75 to 93. Right, so it doesn't make it 100% uh, consistent, and you can still miss blizzards quite a lot, and it's it's happened. Yes, you can uh, still miss blizzard after 1x accuracy. That's the other difference between this game and Gen 1. Gen 1, x accuracy removes the accuracy check. In uh, Gen 3, it just uh, increases it by one stage. Which is probably what they meant to do in the first place, but couldn't for some reason. Pardon, I'm wrong. So we did miss a single one. Nice fight. Yep. It was good. Uh, coming up as a walker, uh, she can catch me. But hopefully she doesn't, and she didn't. Good. It's really annoying when that walker walks right in your path, because there's literally nothing that you can do about it. Yeah. Alright, so now we're in very Like her course. range. Uh, yeah, I was say, her course, range so. is like the entire beach. So yeah, really... it's really ridiculous what her sight range is. It's it's way more than the other uh, walking trainers. Like, most other walking trainers in this game have a range of one. Like, there's one in Silphco that we have to dodge, and then there's one uh, there's one in the Cinnabar Mansion that we have to dodge. Uh, here's a Gloom. Gloom knows Moonlight, so hopefully I don't get trolled. Oh god, <laughs> as you say that. And yeah, this is another. Uh, this is an example of how we pick and choose the moves that we use. Wow, that just rhymes so well, that's amazing. Um, so yeah, we just uh, we could have used two surfs there, but Moonlight 30. probably would have trolled us further, so... I gotta we caught it anyway. Awakening. Yeah, we'll be going and getting that Hypno soon. I would like to run into Execute here. Uh, Psyduck works too. That did a lot of damage. Touch and catch. Alright, so 35 out of 60 now. We're getting closer and closer. And a lot of the ones that we have to evolve 
are just using a rare candy or a stone on it, so we already have some of them ready for us to uh, evolve. We don't have to catch all of these with Pokeballs. You guys said you're looking for a Hypno, right? The Hypno is coming up. Okay. Yeah. The Hypno is like a, it's a 100% encounter at the end, and you have to Oh, kinda, right, I remember now. Yeah, you have to run it off. It's been a real while since I've played Fire Red Leaf Green. Mm-hmm. All right. And that Hypno's always at the same level and everything, so we know exactly what moves to use on it before the Ultra Ball. Nice. Got the Execute. Um, we yeah, we got that. the Execute. That's, that's um, really good. I'm going to try one more encounter for Pidgeotto, but then I'm going to move on. Okay. Because Pidgeotto sure. is useful. Oh, hey, Venonat. I don't need you. Alright, we're out of here. <laughs> Alright, so here's Estelle. Uh, she went berry picking and got lost. Uh, and then this Hypno attacked her. So we're gonna catch and enslave this Hypno. Yep. See, the best part about this is the Hypno can come, and you can just kind of sit there and run away from the fight. And that's fine. Like, you can just run away from the fight, and then it cuts to you and Lost L, and you manage to take her home. That did a little bit too much damage. Oh my god, yeah. Alright, but that gave it a really good catch <laughs> rate. Usually you're supposed to surf then toxic, but that made it uh, not really a viable strat. 37. Wow. talk to this guy, we give him the meteorites, and he gives us a moonstone. Which is nice. Mm -hmm. That moonstone means that we have... Uh, three now. That we have... Three? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that is so we can evolve moonstone. everything that we need to. Yep. Um, oh, one here. There we go. That's what I want. People are hammering me in chat because I didn't realize that Lostel's name started with Lost. Oh man. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that either. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting completely hammered. Whew. I'm sorry guys, okay? I I don't look that deep into these things, I just I just play and enjoy the game. Ah, uh, dear. Alright, well... so now through here... We're gonna swap in and out a bunch of Pokemon in order to get our party all situated. Right. We want to put in the Pikachu and the Venonat as trades, and then we'll be putting just you know some other Pokemon in there that evolve via stones and things like that. I'm actually uh, taking out the Nidoran male because uh, I'm gonna trade the right, Nidoran right. male. Yep. Alright, so now we go back to Cinnabar Island. Now that we finish that, we will be back uh, to the Sevi Islands after the Elite Four. And then that'll be a fun trip. And now we go in here, and we will evolve Pikachu. Oh no, I was farther down than I thought. Oops.
<laughs> yeah, it's very easy to get lost in the bag. Especially because we bought these stones and items so early in this run, like towards the department store, and the bag's just kind of filled up over time. So we've got to try and locate the stones, I guess. At the top there. My Pokemon count is really good right now. Yeah, this is, this is looking solid. Um, you're gonna... at 55, if you include all the blue ones, by yeah, the way. Yeah, exactly. Off screen, I have a Pokedex counter up that has uh, images of all the possible Pokemon that I can catch uh, in this route. And I have ones that I've caught marked black, and ones that I'm going to be getting marked blue. Uh, after all this is, after all this uh, Cinnabar Lab stuff is taken care of, I'll have 43 Pokemon. And it effectively is 55 Pokemon. Your Paras is level 22. Yeah, I've got three candies in uh, in line right now. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, I have two. I, I only have the two. Oh, I was mashing B. Whoops. I don't know. We'll work it out. Yeah. All right, now he talks to the crazy guy. Crazy mad scientist doctor. Who is the fastest fossil reviver in the world. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. You just kind of... Done. Give him your fossil. Leave the room. <laughs> come back. And there we go. Done. Easy. And then he'll just do the same thing again, because we got the old amber in pewter. Crazy, oh, nice. he walked to me. So we're at 43 right now, right? Yes, we are at 43. Okay. Mm -hmm. staying the date. Alright, so I'm gonna equip a cherry berry. And then we're gonna fly to Celadon. Then we're gonna fight Erica. Erica can be annoying because you have to use two blizzards and you don't have a spare X accuracy. Um, so we anticipate missing one. Missing one means that you get stun spored. Um, missing two can cause problems. I'm going to save beforehand, just in case. These two trainers are just pushovers. We just uh, bite every Pokemon that they have, and they die easily. Yep. You're just so overleveled that bite deals with them. However, Bite does not effectively deal with Victory Bell and uh, Bloom, or not Bloom, Vile Bloom that Erica has. Yeah. Torrented Surf does deal with the Victory Bell. So, uh, in any percent, I try to have Torrent for here, and then I just Surf uh, the Victory Bell. But I don't have that right now, so I'm not going to. I have to kind of rely on Blizzards for a little bit. But again, hitting two out of three shouldn't be too much of a uh, no, hard it, thing to do. It should be fine. I'm still saving though. 220. It's a good time. Mm -hmm. 
two hours, 20 minutes into the run, still looking pretty solid. A little bit over with in-game time differences, but... Oh, right, yeah. But th this is still a really solid in-game time to be on right now. I've sure. done... I did some resets in Surge, and then that one reset on uh, Rival 4. Yeah. Now we hit the first blizzard. Now the second one's coming up. Mm-hmm. All right. Good. Easy. <laughs> All right. Now we also have the opportunity to use strength now, but uh, we don't need to uh, teach it until later. So now from here, we'll just fly directly to Saffron. Because we were already there earlier. By the way, let me know if there are any questions that I can answer from the chat. I don't have it open right now, so I can pay yep, attention. Sure. Be sure to let me know. If anyone has questions for JP, go ahead. But uh, yeah, th this part is fun. This is um, a lot easier than it was the first time I ever played this. Most, uh, like most of this game, because you know if you know exactly where you're going, then it's much much easier. We went straight past that professor guy. Oh god, you hit him! No, oh. he's just quick spinning when I'm pausing. Right. <laughs> This is, without a doubt, the most difficult uh, spinner in the game to dodge. He only has an Arbok, which dies to one Surf, so it's not wow. too big a deal. Okay. But it could be quite annoying. I apparently held me too long. Oh well. Ah, oh, dang. Oh. oh well. It's not a huge deal. Like yeah. I said, he just dies to a Surf. It's just, like, really? Oh well. Would you like a question, JP? Sure, why not? Alright, I've got a good one here. Why don't you use Experience Share to evolve certain Pokémon? Uh, Experience Share takes too long uh, for a lot of a lot of Pokémon. Plus, it takes away experience from Blastoise, which is the biggest reason you don't want to use it. You gotta make sure that Blastoise gets enough experience to make it through the fights. Alright, here's Sylph Rival, Rival 5, I'm saving here as well. Yeah, this could be a pretty... The only Pokemon that we would use the experience share for anyway are the bugs, because we try to split evolve them anyway. But... Mm -hmm. Alright, so this fight, uh, set up on Pidgeot with an X Accuracy and an X Special. And that gives me enough power to go through everything. Critical Wing Attack. I kind of want to be close to Torrents after this fight, so getting Critical Wing Attack is fine. And probably the scariest thing about this fight is this Venusaur and trying to hit Blizzard with 1x accuracy, which as we said before, can miss, mm -hmm. but we're fine there, so. The Scarados does not die in one hit, even with my very high special, so I'm gonna bite them, Blizzard. Good flinch. Well, kinda. I kinda wanted it to Dragon Rage, but oh well. It's not a huge deal if, if I don't get it. After this Growlithe, we have the most useless uh, enemy Pokemon in the entire game, in this Alakazam. Yeah, this Alakazam and, uh, actually knows yeah. no attacking moves, aside from Future Sight. You literally can't die to him. Mm -hmm.
but we're faster than him because of the X speed anyway, and we just take him out. Yeah, literally, it does not matter. And uh, here we, we get well, Lapras. We, we didn't use an X speed, but we were still faster than him anyway. Right. All right. So there's Lapras. That's forty-four. And then this guy just takes three surfs and he's done. Is anyone else hearing slight echo? Um, no, I'm not. Like I'm getting feedback slightly. Okay, I turned down my audio just in case you were hearing it through my headphones. Gotcha. Yeah, same. I just turned mine down a little bit too. Okay. But yeah, unfortunately, we weren't on the uh, the right amount of health to be able to get into Torrent after the rival fight, so this next fight's going to go a little bit uh, slower. We're going to have to use an extra X special, I no. believe. This, this fight, after one X special, um, you kill almost everything. The only thing that doesn't necessarily die is the Kangaskhan, but with my uh, special attack stat, it should still die. Oh, really? Okay, that's yeah. fine. Uh, Fury gotcha. attack's annoying. Oh, only two hits. That's fine. This does mean I do have a little bit longer setup on uh, Sabrina. I'll have to use an extra X special on her. Mm. Yeah, unfortunate flinch. Oh, I crit the Kangaskhan. Nice. <laughs> Again. The Kangaskhan has not had a fun game. Critting things that uh, ensure death. Mm -hmm. And then he sends out his right horn last, like it's a trump card or something. It's like, right? It's one of the things that's awkward about Giovanni for the third fight. He doesn't have a ride on that he has in uh, Gen 1. Anyway, we go over here, get the Master Ball. Escape rope out. Now we go and make the trade for uh, the Nidoran female that we need. Mm -hmm. Which we slotted into our party earlier when we were at the Sevi Islands. Okay, and that's 45. So like we said earlier, we figured out that we are effectively at um, 55 Pokemon. Uh, after all the evolutions and such are taken care of. So I need to catch the equivalent of five more Pokemon. It's, uh, it's 57 now, I think. Yeah, it's 57. Oh, it's 57 if you include now? the rare candy ones, yeah. Oh, that's even better. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the, the Pokemon count is really, really good. I usually have a second one open, but I didn't want. I wanted to make sure that uh, this went well, so I just don't have it open. Now anyway, this gym, Sabrina teleporters. JP knows exactly where he's going, so he can just make it to the gym leader straight away, of course. And this fight will happen. Use a few X items, and then kind of sweep your way through it. Sorry, I had to mute my mic for a second. Alright, so we use an X speed here. And 
And because he didn't damage us into Torrent, we have to use an X special. And then we sweep with Surf. And we have exactly enough Surfs to be able to sweep. And then after this, we're left with one gym left to conquer before going towards the Pokemon League. 50 is just outside Torrent, which is unfortunate. I wanted to be in Torrent for the next fight I have to do. You could probably tank a hit off of the off of the first Machop, maybe, if you wanted to bite it, and then it's get into Machop. Torrent for the rest. Oh, is it? Yeah. Right. I'd I'd rather just X Special and sweep. It it's the same yeah. thing. Sure. If he uses like foresight or something, I don't have to worry about it. And you got enough X specials anyway. Yeah, I bought. Oh, I bought enough to cover all the bases. And we get Calm Mind, which we will also be keeping later for Mewtwo, along with Fire Blast and Shockwave. So we teach it three moves that we get from various gym leaders throughout the game. And the max are there to replenish PP for the next gym. Because mm -hmm. we run out of surfs. Alright. So here's the Karate King. We fight him first because spinners are fast. Spinning tiles are fast, I should say. Special. And also, we fight this guy from the right when we talk to him. Otherwise, if we go through the normal route of the gym and fight this other trainer first, then this guy kind of comes towards us while we fight him, he so blocks he blocks the path. path to the gym leader. Yeah. So we'd have to leave the gym and come back in to refresh his location. So instead we just go and fight him from the side to make sure he doesn't block our way. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the uh, Machoke went to Torrent? Yeah, but That's I'm nice. gonna be healing out of it. Okay. Yeah, I gotta heal out of it because I'm gonna be evolving Weedle. And swapping in on incoming right. is not uh, good. Yeah. I guess if you use a potion or something, then you can I'm gonna get just right back into John. Okay. I guess, yeah, because you want to heal for Giovanni The only too. thing that has the opportunity to kill me is Doug Trio. And I'll just save before Giovanni to make sure that if that happens, I'm not screwed. I mean, yeah. I can just revive, but... Ah, I could just revive. And if you're on high enough HP, then it's it's not going to matter anyway. <laughs> so we're just going to get Weedle to, to tank this entire fight, of course. This gem is the easiest. Because um, everything dies to Surf, no matter what. Except for the Machoke, but that's literally the only thing. Usually you're in Torn by then. Um, and then you can just spam Surf after that and he dies. We nice critical hit on the lot of, uh, Get a lot of experience off this. Yeah.
this is... No, this is 55. This is not, uh, 57. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. Don't oh count. right, you've already got the Pidgey and Yeah, the don't count the reds. The reds are there to remind me which ones I need to candy. Yeah, I'm right, to okay. My bad, JP. It's alright. <laughs> but there is still plenty of Pokemon for you to catch yeah. on the way. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in. I have a revive. The only thing that can kill me is Critical or Critical Earthquake. Literally the only thing that can kill me. Yeah, Dug Trio will outspeed because our speed IV isn't particularly anything special. But you need incredibly good speed to outspeed the Dug Trio. Well, not incredibly good. And he only does. Good enough, which I might have good enough. Right. Oh, hey, he missed Rock Blast. GG. Now no, no, Earthquake. Critical, earthquake won't kill me, so. Yeah, it does something like 40 damage. I think Crit will be. Yeah, it would do like. 82. The only issue is if uh, Rhyhorn did, like, a lot of damage. Okay, so he did have speed. Yep. I'd like to say I was on a speed tie. Pretty sure I was at 96 <laughs> speed. Okay. Uh, which is a speed tie with him. But I didn't really pay attention. But anyway, yeah, Giovanni down again. Yeah, oddly enough, his Kangaskhan is his most annoying uh, Pokemon, and yet here he doesn't have Kangaskhan. Go figure. Like, if he had Kangaskhan here, this fight would be a lot more annoying, but... Nope. He doesn't. Nope. And uh, your speed was 96, by the way. Oh, okay. So I was on so speed So you did have the speed tie. Yep. And that's all eight badges. Congratulations. I Yay. know the road is hard, but... 50 got there. Alright. And there's Kakuna. That's 47. Um, so up next is the rival fight. Uh, Vermilion rival. I'm gonna be putting uh, Miss Nido in front of her. Or in front of the Pidgeot. Uh, and then swapping out so that Miss Nido evolves without a rare candy. That's only possible uh, with a level 22. Um, if you catch any others, you have to use a rare candy on the female Nidoran, and there's nothing else you can do about it. And I'll also be super repelling before the fight. That all important save. Oh yes, this is definitely a fight that you want to save on too, because Venusaur can and will kill you if you don't. And if yes. Yes. If you miss that Blizzard on Venusaur, you're dead. Mm -hmm. So it's we like have to set up on Pidgeot. Yeah. We have to set up X accuracy, X speed, and three X specials. Yeah, so the setup for this fight is, is fairly simple and easy. The Pidgeot will just go ahead and wing attack you over and over again. And um, if you get into the sort of range where he can crit you with wing attack, then you might want to heal. But as we just saw a crit. Uh, so, yeah, um, that was an uh, unfortunate wing attack there. Yeah. Sometimes so, the Pidgeot uh, likes to use Feather Dance, and that gives you a bit of a reprieve. Mm-hmm. 
but I am not getting that luck here. Alright, so that's three special attacks. Next special attacks. Uh, so we Surf Pidgeot. Blizzard Venusaur. Hopefully. Oh yeah, Miss Nino learns Helping Hand, but Helping Hand is not useful here. Oh, you never know. <laughs> I mean, I have so many Helping Hands already. Right? I'm fine. Oh, and the Blizzard hit. Yep. Wonderful. Uh, I Ooh. bite the Rhyhorn. And then the Gyarados is next. Um, it's a damage range on the Blizzard to one-shot it. Uh, so I'm going to go for that. Considering I have... Well, hopefully we kill it. Also, nice. one Got thing it. to know... Nice. One thing to note is that, unlike some of the newer games, in the Pokemon series, these trainers don't really carry potions until we get to uh, until we get to like the Elite Four and things like that. I think this I think this rival actually does have a hyper potion. I think. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. The gym leaders always have something. Oh yeah, and the gym leaders. Um, right. I think the high rivals end up having hypers or something like that. Okay. The most normal trainers don't. Yep. Yeah. 48. Okay, right. so we're at 48, and on the way up here, there's going to be a few different Pokemon that JP can run into. Yeah. I've already super repelled, so I'm not going to run into anything through this route or up the badge section, pretty much. Mm hmm. So in theory, I need three Pokemon, two of which can evolve. There's a lot of choices I can get there. Um, I'm gonna try to get Mankey or Ekans uh, before I enter Rock Tunnel, because they're easier to catch. Right. Uh, you can get a Fearow as well. Yeah, if I run into Fearow, I'll probably encounter. try to catch it just so I have it. I just need to get two evolvers. And I'm pretty sure that the timing of the super repel means that it will run out after you clear the water section. Yes. That is and that's uh, because, where I put it. Uh, and that's because you've already caught the Psyduck, so we don't need to catch one here. Nope, no need to catch one. I'm also going to be picking up this hidden floor store over here. There's a hidden floor store? Yep. Well damn, the more you know. I keep forgetting to switch. Oh god, the need your hand. You should have helping hand it, it would have been perfect. <laughs> And that Mankey's a really good catch because it just takes one rare candy to get to a primate. I'm gonna heal Blastoise to make sure that nothing crazy happens. So I think it said that you had. Yep. I think, I'm pretty sure in the bag said that you had three rare candies. Yes. So you won't have to get the victory rogue one right now, unless you want it for no, a chop that you might get. No, I'm getting it. Okay. That's if it. anything, you can just uh, get an extra level for Blastoise.
Fear using mirror move after I use toxic is awkward. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a bit trolling. Anyway, there's Vero. One more folks. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move on. Fortunately, in Overworld, Toxic Poison is just regular poison. Alright. So now we teach strength to Blastoise, because we need strength finally. And we teach it over Bite, because Bite is no longer useful. So hopefully I run into uh, Machop. Machop is the easiest Pokémon for me to catch. Onyx is stupid. So we're not gonna catch Onyx. And now we do boulder puzzles at the same time as trying to catch things that aren't Onyx. <laughs> that aren't Onyx. God damn it, Onyx. Nobody likes you, please. How unexpected. <sighs> <laughs> okay, uh, I expected that from chat, <laughs> and we got that I, from I, chat. I, I, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm sure we I'm uh, intentionally doing that. Oh, God damn it. Sweet. All right, that's for chop. We are out of here. So that's it, right? We just gotta use the rare candies and stones and stuff, and that's that'll be sixty Pokemon. Yep, exactly. Do In... you not use the Master Ball at all, or no? I have not used the Master Ball. The Master Ball is for Pokemon sixty-one. Mewtwo. Oh, I see. Oh, can you not get into the cave until you get the National Ducks? No, you have to clear Sebi Islands. Like you oh, I see. You can't, it's not like, in Gen 1, it was just clear the Elite Four, you get into Mewtwo's cave. But here, they, they, they're they like, more exclusive. They say, oh, hey, you've got to beat the Elite Four and then do something amazing. I'm like, really? Anyway, now it's just the block puzzle. And then we'll evolve our Pokémon and then uh, fight the Elite Four. Mm. I'm not quite sure how this uh, ten-year-old girl managed to manages to push a massive boulder while on a bike. Oh, it's it's not her. It's Blastoise. Oh, oh yeah, of course. But he's just. In nowhere inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just he's using his superpower to give her the strength. Right, gotcha. <laughs> he's in the Pokeball. Exactly. Gives her the it's... strength from the Pokeball. So we just traverse the rest of this cave without hitting any accidental uh accidentally hitting any standards. Yes. There's only these one are not the best more trainers standard to fight. that I'm mildly worried about, but I'm not gonna hit him. It's the double battle. Just this right. inexplicably placed double battle. Yeah. Right there. Alright, and we're out. And the super repel should be... F yep, there it is. Max repel, rather. And the lumberry we just picked up will be is for later. either yeah we can use it in uh, there's a few places that we can use it whether it be Agatha uh, I could 
later on in the Sapphire Islands. As for now, we're just kind of collecting all the Pokémon that can be evolved with rare candies and stones right now to get up to our 60. We want to do this before the Pokémon League because when you finish the Pokémon League, Professor Oak comes and talks to you and checks your Pokédex. So if we get this all done before finishing the Pokémon League, he'll give us the National Dex straight afterwards. So why does Farfetch stay in the party just to make it easy once you're done with the Elite Four? Yeah. Farfetch just stays in, in the party. I actually um, send out uh, Chiding against Bruno to start out with. For reasons. <laughs> yeah. And having Farfetch'd in the party after beating the Elite Four means that you can just fly to um, Vermilion. Yeah. Instead of having to bike to um, Viridian City and get him out of the PC. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit faster. And JP's going to be altering his strats or being careful in the Elite Four because there's a chance that um, oh, I don't have some of the Pokemon that. can use. I don't have no? to worry about that. Okay. That's, that's but there's, the there's Pokemon were. that have like a wind and a roar and stuff like that. So um, yeah, apparently he doesn't have to worry about it. That always messed me up. I guess I didn't know the strats correctly. <laughs> Yeah, I, I have new strats. So. Gotcha. Well, new, okay. new, new-ish strats. I've been using them for a while. <laughs> new in the last like year and a half. Yeah. But yeah, now we're just sitting here, evolving all these Pokemon. Get to see mm -hmm. cool Pokemon like Vileplume and Executor. And Nidoking Queen and Nidoking. King. Yes, can't forget Nidoking, King, especially he is the king. Maybe King, he still ain't champ. Nah, he's not champ. <laughs> not now. In, uh... At the end of the marathon, he will be. Now here's Arcanine. John Cena. Nope, not yet. He's coming up later. Mm -hmm. have been done, and now we're just grabbing the one that will evolve with a single rare candy. So wait, are we at 55 or 56 right 56. Now? Okay. So do you need the 60 Pokemon in order to finish up the Savai Islands? Uh, you need the 60 Pokemon in order to get the National Dex. Without the National Dex, uh, you won't trigger the uh, Sevi Island, um, the Sevi Island side quest. It's okay, I was gonna say exist. I was wondering why Mewtwo was not part of the 60. Yeah, believe me, if we could get Mewtwo before the 60, we would always get Mewtwo before the 60. <laughs> yep. Did you get Mewtwo ASAP? I assume. Yeah, yeah. completely sweet babe. Yeah, Mewtwo... Mewtwo... obliterates the Elite Four. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, it doesn't even matter what kind of Mewtwo it is. Like, we have... we have strats where every Mewtwo can just wreck the Elite Four. And that's one of the main draws of using the Mewtwo route instead of the Zapdos route, because of how dominant he is for the Elite Four round two. 
you don't even really have to think about it, you just kind of sweep through it with all his moves. Whereas Zapdos, there's, there's, uh, it's a little bit more complicated. Yes. Uh, dangerous. So especially for a marathon, <laughs> Mewtwo is uh, definitely the best choice in my opinion. It's a lot less risky. Alright, and there's Primate. That makes 60. Woohoo! And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna open up the, uh, the Pokedex in order to verify it, but that should be 60. Yeah, I counted 60. Now we get to another juicy bit that could be quite difficult. Lorelei. But first, a little bit of shopping. <laughs> yeah, of course. Actually, so. uh, we're gonna sell Giga Drain because Giga Drain isn't useful. Earthquake, save, and go back. We no longer need Toxic, so we teach over it. Here's where we start to see the X items come into play quite a bit. This fight's stupid, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Four X attacks and an X speed, and we don't even one-shot everything. Uh. Hail turn one is kind of awkward. This fight is all about boosting up your attack and then um, just kind of tanking all these hits because none of uh, Lorelei's Pokemon have any moves that can really damage you. Uh, Lapras can be a pain, but Lapras is the only problem. Right. So now that I've set up, I do double strength on Dugong. And unfortunately he hailed again. I was hoping he would not. Use is critical. Alright, Cloyster knows protect, so we have to go through a wall of protect spam. Uh, <laughs> takes two earthquakes to kill. Let's see if we can get three protects in a row. Yeah. Um, he can use spikes, and then protect can also fail. So I'm very glad that that failed. Mm -hmm. So hopefully he and... uses spikes this turn. Right. Yep. And he likes to use hail if there's no hail up, yeah, which is it, why he If there's no hail up, he will hail. So. Yeah. And no protect. Nice. Then we strength and surf the slow bro. 
And Amnesia's good. Yawn is the worst move that Slowbro can do. Because Yawn just makes it so that you're, you have to heal on Jinx, and you're not... You have the opportunity to get attracted, and it's just not a good thing. Yeah. Right. So Jinx dies in one Earthquake. And then we have Lapras. Lapras takes two Earthquakes to kill. Um, the only move that's concerning is Body Slam Paralyze. Lapras does no Confuse Ray. And hopefully we can, you know, hit him. <laughs> nice. Yeah, one thing about that Lapras is it's Body Slam has something like a 92% paralyze rate. It just happens all the time. It's supposed to be a 30%, but that doesn't happen. Yeah, it happens more often than not. But, Unfortunately, uh... still had a cherry berry. Oh, wow, well, that's convenient. Nice. And there we go. Easy fight is easy-ish. All right. Easy enough. Cool. Now we get to the fun part. Exactly, need to heal. That was fine. Oh, well. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. Alright, so here's Bruno. Should I just cards back here? Yeah, just I'll wait. Alright, thank you, Chidi, okay. for taking that. <laughs> yeah. The guard spec there is so that um, when Blastoise comes back in, when the Onyx uses Rock Tomb on the Blastoise, it won't lower its speed because of the guard spec. And uh, you don't want your speed lowered in this fight because it makes the rest of it incredibly difficult. You want to be able to outspeed everything. <laughs> so we'll be setting up as much as possible. Hitmonchan has Mach Punch, but I'm at too high of a level for him to use it. Do you need to set up something on Hitmonlee? Yeah, I gotta use the next speed. Right. Oh, hey. I'm Hopefully, get knocked into Torrent. Wow. Perfect. Nice, dude. That'll be useful for. Uh, Agatha. Yeah. And this is just an easy win now. <laughs> this fight can be very, very difficult. Yeah, especially if um, especially if you don't have a high special attack stat. Mm -hmm. Or if you have a particularly low speed, I think. Well, be even difficult. if you have low speed, you can still get through it with an X speed. Because that's what I did. Right. I, might yeah, yeah. Not, I might have been able to go through without using the X speed, but it would have been... Diff it would have been hard. Okay. Yeah. It might not have worked. So I played it. Let me go. Dead burner. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna save and go into this fight. You don't want the lumb barrier or anything, I guess. Especially no. that HP. No, the lumb barrier is for later. I'll just full restore. Yeah. So Agatha leads with Gengar. Gengar knows double team. Double team is a problem. So we use an X speed and an X special. And then sweep with surf because we're in torrent. Alright, good. And hopefully we uh, pound through this.
Nice, second try. Yeah, that's it's perfectly fine. Good. Yeah. That's still faster than non-torrent. Non-torrent, if I had to heal, I would have to set up three X specials. Uh, in addition to the X speed. So right. getting and that, if... that fast is definitely preferable. Yeah, and if that first Gengar double team's enough, then you'll run out of surf PP, so yeah. that kind of puts you in a bothersome situation. I have the extra max ether and an extra ether to be able to get around that. Right. So I have plenty of PP items. Yeah, you've collected like pretty much every one, and you haven't had to use too many? No, I, the, I have not. They're, they're all, like, most of them are emergency. Some of them are necessary, like, I'm gonna be using one after this fight. But no, it's it's gone really well. No, I'll be using it after Lance. That's right. Right. Alright. I'm gonna swap uh, and, uh, Blastoise back to the front here and heal him. Mm -hmm. And then we go up against Lance. Uh, Lance is rough. Put it lightly. I assume you're going to be doing uh, do X accuracy strats. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You have to hit a lot of blizzards in this fight, so it's best that you use two X accuracies to make it close to no, as close to 100 percent. Two X accuracies guarantees it. It does. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So we want to be doing that. And if you want to maybe explain, like, the AI of the Gyarados and everything? Yeah, so Gyarados will use Bite and Dragon Rage until it gets me to Hyper Beam range. Um, at which case it will use Hyper Beam and try to kill me. So we need to heal as soon as I'm in Hyper Beam range, uh, otherwise I'm dead. And then we heal again just to make sure he doesn't immediately go back into Hyper Beam after he uh, gets out. So we set up two X specials. So hopefully he doesn't always use Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage always does 40. I don't like that. Yeah, good. There's another Dragon Rage. Alright, so I'm gonna be in Hyper Beam range now. Um, after this Dragon Rage, so I'm gonna heal again. And then I'll be out, so then I'll be able to sweep with Blizzard. Except for Aerodactyl, I'll run out of Blizzards before I get to Aerodactyl. But then you have, uh, have either one or two remaining Surfs? Yeah, I, I have Surf after that. So, one Blizzard doesn't kill Gyarados unless it crits. So you do two in order to guarantee it. Stop the skull bash. Right. And now we should just sweep through the rest of the team. And then the final fight for round one will be the champion. Champion's mildly annoying. Um, and for the Aerodactyl that's coming up, if you're on a kind of lowish HP range, like, I don't know, 60, 70 ish, there's a good chance that he'll be able to kill you with Hyper Beam, and he outspeeds. But at this range, he's probably gonna, he's gonna either Wing Attack or Ancient Power. Yeah. And hopefully, he doesn't get all the stat upgrades and boosts from Ancient Power to waste a little bit of time. Yeah. We got Wing Attack, though, so we're good. Alright, cool. Um, the Hyper Beam range is uh, 73 on zero. Right. So. Gotcha. There we go. Long zero stand. defense IV, I should say. Alright.
we'll restore Blastoise. Elixir Blastoise. Save. And fight champion. Ooh. So he leads Pidgeot again. And uh, he went and visited the uh, move relearner. So this Pidgeot has sand attack again. So we have to guard spec turn one. Because sand attack's annoying. Yep, there it is. Then we do 1x speed, 1x accuracy. And then 2x specials. There's a there's an actual attack now. It took a while. <laughs> Which is good. Yeah. Alright. So we kill the Pidgeot, and then he sends out Venusaur. He's gonna charge up Solar Beam or use Growth, one of the two. So during that time we use an extra X special. Alright, use growth. That's good. It gives us an extra turn in case we miss Blizzard. But we hit it. So we're good. Nice. Yeah, Solar Beam is uh, this Venusaur's only attacking move, I think. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you get free turns and things like that. Else, but I don't think it matters. Yeah. Uh, Alakazam gets surfed. Just making sure I'm following the notes right. And from here on, we just kind of sweep, and if we get on low HP, then we'll heal. And... Yep. The only SG. problem Pokemon now is uh, Gyarados. Who knows Thrash again, by the way. Uh, <laughs> it takes two Blizzards to kill Gyarados. So hopefully one of them freezes. Or crits. Or crits. I'll take crit. <laughs> I'll take crit. Oh, crits right. are nice. Wow, it actually crit. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, dear. Right. And then Arcanine knows extreme speed. So that's only a problem if you're at low HP. Uh, because we're at high HP, it doesn't matter. And that's the champion fight. So that went well. GG. Yeah. GG. Really solid run so far. And now we've just got all the extra stuff. Yeah. M bit of a minor cutscene to go through. Oak shows up and blasts Gary. Or you, rather. So hooray, we are Hall of Famers. <laughs> we are the champions, my friends. Do, 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 do. And we'll keep on fighting till the... No, I'm not going to finish that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank anyway, you so much. No, that was beautiful. That was amazing. I, I almost felt like joining in. <laughs> but you didn't. I'm disappointed. Uh, I was about to, and then he stopped, so... <laughs> <laughs> Reality was probably good that I didn't. Nah, and then I, I we just kind of the game's not over yet, <laughs> right? And then we just kind of reset just after it saves the game. Yeah, and we're back here. I, I got distracted. I should have saved after the Blastoise, but oh well. Yeah. <laughs> so now we get the national decks, which allows us uh, to go and get the ruby. Because the big thing about the side quest is you've got to get Celio's uh, network machine up and running. Um, to do that, you need to get the ruby and the sapphire. Oddly enough, you don't need an emerald.
This is in Sonic. You don't need a diamond and a pearl either? No. Don't need those. We also don't need any platinum. Gold and silver? Nope. I, well, I do pick up some gold. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's not necessary yeah. for this. Anyway, we go back to one island, and we go and talk to Celio. 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 Cereal. So we talk to him, he tells us that he doesn't know what it needs. But we know what it needs, and I know where to find it. So we get on here, set our max repel. Yeah, so now that we're at the Sevi Islands... Oh wow, there's a water on the right side? Yeah. This is new. Strat, I've never yeah. seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> Normally you have to kind of dodge a few trainers and stuff like that. You've got so and, uh, much that you've got to relearn. I know. I really want to come back to this game, learn all this stuff. Yeah, but uh, basically you know. here, we've already we've already bought all our Pokemon, so we don't really care about that. So we're just going to continue to just push through the game as quickly as possible. Kind of like you would for any percent, but, you know, after the 4. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to take the fastest routes everywhere and uh, stuff like that. So I need to get into Mount Ember, and these two chumps are blocking the way. Uh, so we're yeah. just going to beat them. Mm -hmm. There are still a few challenging enemies, I'd say, in the rocket base. But, um, most of the difficult fights and, and sketchiest fights are kind of over now. Right now it's kind of about movement and uh, there's a couple spinners to dodge and things like that that yeah. we'll be focusing on. It's mostly just spinner now. dodging right now. Mm. I think they're like... We've already dodged one. There's like five more that I have to dodge. Uh, right. Including probably... Probably the hardest in the game, I'd say. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah, the, the level of spinners through here are pretty much, like, that one section in Emerald that has, like... I don't know, four spinners in a row. <laughs> but we don't, we don't get four spinners in a row, we get, like, three. But it's still a really, uh... A really rough section. Yeah. All right, now that these guys are taken care of, we can go into Mount Ember, and we have to solve a small block puzzle to get to the ruby. Also, by the way, this is where you can get Moltres, if you really want Moltres. Mm. <laughs> but we don't need Moltres, so we're not going to get him. No, he'd be pretty useless in a speedrun. Compared with the likes of Mewtwo and Zapdos, anyway. So here's the first block puzzle. It's simple. It's a very, it's a very obvious uh, solution. This is the other one. It's more complicated, but only because it's not as intuitive. And then we push our way into here. The other path, by the way, leads to Moltres. Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh, Alright, okay. I, I thought you had to go uh, in the outside to get him. Didn't know you could go through there. That's cool. And the ruby. Those handy escape ropes that we got uh, a long, long time ago. Now we fly back to one island and give the ruby to CeeLo. And then CeeLo will upgrade our Tri-Pass to the Rainbow Pass. 
which allows us to gain access to islands 4, 5, 6, and 7. We'll visit 4, 5, and 6, but 7 isn't necessary. You don't have to visit Pattern Bush, I think it's called, right? No. Oop. Accidentally hit select. And here's here's Rival again. Thankfully, this time we don't have to fight him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's still shaken up from the beating we just gave him. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so here's Icefall Cave. So there's a little bit of precise movement here on the bike to go uh, over the ice panels and everything. Mm -hmm. It's a fairly basic ball. movement. Mm -hmm. In Zapdos route, you teach it to Ammonite, but we don't have Ammonite here, so we're gonna teach it to. Blastoise instead. We're gonna lose Blizzard for this. Goodbye, Blizzard. You've served us well. And we get to put Waterfall to immediate use. Mm -hmm. Waterfall is required to continue. And guess who found her way all the way to this cave? She is the exact reason why we have to do this side quest. Mm -hmm. She just if, decides if, like if, it's a good idea to go on holiday or whatever. Yeah. And we have she to go says here. She to... lives here, but we all know the truth. She lives at the Elite Four. That's all she. This is the only time she's here. All the other times she's right. at Elite Four, no matter what time they go. Anyway, this fight is also simple. Like most. Most of the fights coming up are going to be pretty simple affairs. Once we get to the Rocket Warehouse, then it becomes more difficult. Right. So now we've dealt with this. We have a little bit more cutscene. Uh, where are you? There you are. Then we escape rope out. then we head over to Six Island. You'd think we'd head over to Five Island because it's next in order, but we actually need to go to here first because we need to get the other password for the warehouse. Uh, here's the first of the spinners to dodge. I have to pass him twice. All right. Yeah, this area is very spinner heavy. Mm-hmm. I mean, the one positive is if you do hit them, they all have rock types, so yeah, everything uh, they're, dies they're pretty easy to be, but um, obviously it's a time waster. And here they are. Coming up in a second. Oh, 
Good. And there we go. Lovely. And then we have Chiding cut down the door like a badass. Uh, yeah. Which I think is really weird, and it is. Like, how are you supposed to work out how to do that? But there's like braille on the door that tells you um, yeah. what you need to do. It just says cut. Missed it. And here, the little signs in the middle have braille on them telling you to go up, left, right, or down. But uh, JP just knows the order off by heart. And then uh, this guy shows up as we're about to take the sapphire. So he just rips it out of our uh, grasp and uh, gives us the other password. Is that the same guy we fight later? Yep, exact same guy. Yeah. Alright, so, so we get to get our own back on that guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gideon. Is his name? Ugh, one ass. And then we can go back to Five Island because we have both passwords. Damn it. Hit A to down input. Ah, oh, God That's damn it! Thing. All right, we go to Three Island for a oh, nice quick, we're nice quick break. <laughs> yeah, Three Islands looking good. I, I like them now. Off to Five Island. Didn't actually get to sail on the last boat. Oh jeez. That girl was going crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's two spinners there, or spinner and some well, a girl spinner is just and walking a around. Yeah, the walker's usually not a problem, but that walker was being weird. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, here's a fight. Uh, waterfall kills the coughing. The wheezing that's next uh, is a range, but because I have perfect stats, it should die in one shot. You didn't nice. even have to RNG him it up for the stats. No, I didn't. I was <laughs> very pleased to get the stats I got. Yeah, it was ridiculous. And here's the passwords. And we're in the warehouse. Uh, the warehouse is a no-walking zone, unlike the hideout in Celadon. But that's because there's all these spin pads here, and hitting one when you don't want to is rough. Uh, here's one of the last two spinners to dodge. And then the final spinner we need to dodge has a range of one, and we have to pass him twice. Yeah, he's he's a pain in the ass. I'm not gonna lie. He's up there as one of my least favorite. All right. Fortunately, he was not any trouble. Mhm. Mm Good. Especially with the whole bag thing. Mhm. Mm All Pokemon right. So I'm gonna there. equip Person Berry. And the reason is uh, this next fight. Uh, he's got two Hypnos. Uh, they know Swagger, so if this first Hypno uses Swagger, the second Hypno will die in one shot. So I really hope the Hypno uses Swagger. Ah, meditate. Damn. Oh well. It just saves a turn, so it's not a huge deal. It's just nice when it happens. Yeah. And after this fight, are you going to be equipping the Lumberry? Yes. The Lumberry is for the next fight, and I will be saving before the next fight as well. Yes. Uh, of course it can be a bit dangerous. Now. Oh. <laughs> well, it got rid of the berry. Yeah. So you didn't have to replace it. I would still rather the first one of you used it, but. Yeah. Of course. Can't always be that way. All right. You're a full HP as well, which is, is pretty nice. Haven't taken any damage before this fight. Mm -hmm. So we have one extra X attack. That's for this fight. So he X attack. 
minimize is unfortunate. But we kill him. Good. The main reason that we need to use X attack is for the Vile Plume. The Vile Plume takes two Earthquakes to kill after plus one attack. And there's Stun Spore, which is why we equip the Lumberry. And then the Arbok that's next will die as well. And also, we do have a Cherry Berry in the bag, but uh, we're saving that for later. Yep. For the Elite Four round two, so we want to use up the Lumberry instead. Yeah. Although, I suppose it doesn't matter either way. Um, okay, I prefer to just two. have the Cherry. That way, right. there's no confusion. Well, yeah. there's there's no mistake. Right. And also the Mewtwo, I don't know, it could get frozen or something and the Lumberry would cure it or whatever. So yeah, it's just better to have the Cherry Berry. But that was a pretty much flawless fight. Yeah, that fight can go places <laughs> if I'm not careful. <laughs> Especially because the muck has minimize. Because if the muck just spams minimize, I could just be there forever. Right. And Earthquake's PP can just uh, completely go. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna heal that. So I'm minus special defense, this wheezing nose thunderbolt. Nice, I lived. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna heal after this, cause the electrode next will outspeed. And then Houndoom just dies to a surf. And then after this, all the rockets leave. And we say goodbye to Blastoise. No, not yet. We still got this fight. Oh yeah, of course you do. Down. Oh, I'm just completely forgetting fights now. Yeah, we fight this guy. And then we say goodbye to Blastoise. Ish. Ish. Like, this is the last train of fight. This is the last required have fight. Have Blastoise too? Yeah. Right. And then we'll just go and grab our John Cena to uh, fight his way to the end. Yeah, 120 speed. So Electrode will outspeed me. He only uses Sonic Boom. <laughs> he knows Spark. Spark can kill me. Does 35 to 42 damage uh, on zero ID special defense, so I had to heal. But this fight is much. This fight is basically the reason I swapped to Blastoise uh, from Zapdos because Zapdos you gotta use Thunder on pretty much everything. It's ridiculous. This is a lot cleaner. Yeah. Oh. Alright, there goes Porygon. And this guy gives us a Sapphire that he couldn't eBay. Or Craigslist. Probably Craigslist. <laughs> And there we go. Game's pretty much over. Yeah. Still, like, a bit more. But that is the last, uh, of Blastoise. For at least major fights. I think we should have a round of applause for Blastoise in chat, be honest. <laughs> to Blast Rage. That Blastoise Clappers. was very good. I accidentally surfed back to Vermillion. That's awkward. Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know if you heard, but I just applauded. Yay. Nice. Thank you. We're also just going on a tour. As I said earlier, we're just taking the scenic route. The Cena route. <laughs> yes, the Cena route. Oh my god. We're taking wow. the John Cena route. Right. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> Is that gonna be the new route for Fire Red Round 2? I don't Zapdos, know. Zapdos, Mewtwo, John Cena. We might oh just God. buy a bunch of revives and never give up. <laughs> oh man. Well, you won't let oh, me down. Oh my God. Wow. That's amazing. Just get a Pokemon with double team and just All keep right. using it so the opponent one can never now see Now we go back to it. I don't know why I got on my bike. I like the music, I guess. Yeah. And now we're flying. Oh. We. That kid. Couldn't just run him over. You had to get in the way. <laughs> Alright. And now we go and grab Mewtwo. Mm -hmm. There's a guy standing in front of here until we clear the Sevi Islands. Uh, that makes it impossible for us to go in. But he's not there now, so we just waltz on in and make our way through the cave. Which is, again, another thing that's uh, pretty confusing the first time you play it, most likely, but... It's actually really, uh, really quick. If you know exactly where you're going. And you did get the max elixir, but I assume... I have an extra got elixir, enough. so I'm just skipping. Yeah, sure. <laughs> In before shiny me too. Oh my god. That would be that would amazing. Be hype. That would be perfect. If you got that and that perfect Squirtle in the same run. That would be too insane. Yeah. Have we had a single shiny this marathon yet? I don't think I so. I doubt it. I hugely doubt it. I, I this would be the run to have a shiny. Right now. It, like, if there was a shiny, this would be the run. Yeah. Anyway. Here's Mewtwo. Yep, hi. Not shiny. Uh, we... Oh, damn it. We didn't even need to use the Poké Dolls, but we would have used them there if we couldn't run away, and if we ran into a really yep. high-leveled Pokémon. Yeah, because even though I'm level 60, there's still, like, level 67 Pokémon here, so... Mm -hmm. And catching Mewtwo is really difficult. Oh, yeah. Hardest catch in the game. And we don't even need to check its nature or stats or anything. And here we go. And Let the means begin. Route confirmed. It's the it's the scene route. I gotta keep it up. <laughs> hey, yeah, we give it the cherry berry, which we'll explain later. And if you want any Pokemon to be Cena, come on. Mewtwo is is Cena. Let's be real. It's gotta be. Alright, so we teach Calm Mind, Shockwave, and Fire Blast to Mewtwo. Yeah, which gives it ridiculous coverage. It really mm -hmm. does. Especially with its own Psychic with Stab. Yep. The fact that it already knows Psychic is very useful. Alright, so we escape rope out. So what does Mewtwo's moves set up be, end up being? Uh, he has Calm Mind, Shockwave, Fire Blast, Psychic now. And of course, we're going to make sure we buy all the healing items we need. Right? Already did. <laughs> I've got eight floor stores. I'll be good. Yeah. You can you can get through here with like two full restores. It's uh it's pretty dominant what you're about to see. 
Alright, so here's Lorelei. Uh, this Dugong leads with uh, Double Team usually. Uh, so we set up with uh, Triple Calm Mind while uh, Dugong does that. Double Kappa. Oh, right, that's an emote. Yep, posting it. Yeah. Double Kappa. <laughs> Wait, what's an emote? Double, double Kappa. Kappa. For double team. Ah, oh, nice. Such a great FFC. For all of your double team trolling needs. I wish <laughs> I could see what it looks like. I'm looking at Chat on my iPod right now. Ah. <laughs> it's just a blurred Kappa face. Yep. Yeah, I, I took the Kappa face and just did a blur on it. Um, so Lorelei's team is almost the same. This is the major difference. It has a Pillow's Wine. Uh, but Pillow's Wine dies to Psychic, so... Oh well. He thought they would have gotten a little bit stronger. And not weaker. Well, they did get stronger, it's just that... Cena wins lol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he, you're hitting all your fire blasts. Like, the world is just treating you right today. I haven't hit all my fire blasts yet. So. That is true, we do have a couple of them. But Lorelei is a walk in the park. So, um, after Hitmonlee from Bruno, uh, we'll know the stats of Mewtwo. We'll be able to tell. Hey, that dance. We'll be able to tell how good this Mewtwo is. So Bruno leads with uh, both Steelixes. And Steelixes is only upgrade. He has him on the and him on Chan and the champ still. First five last hit then. And one more. Good. Alright. Alright, so Hitmonlee dies to a psychic blast. And then we know how good this Mewtwo is. So we don't care about the attack stat. Um, the other stats kind of matter, but the most important is special attack. I mean, perfect dive beam, you too. Can work with this. It's still kind of low, but still, still usable. Makes me worried for a uh, champion, but I should have enough special attack by then. Yeah, you should be fine. If and anything, I'd save just before the champion anyway. Oh yeah. I'll be saving before Lance and champion. Okay, sure, yeah. The Gyarados can be a bit of a pain. But champ was on our team. This fight's easy, there's only one hiccup in this fight, and that's the Mistrevis that Agatha upgraded to. Um, Mistrevis I have to do a Calm Mine prior to, otherwise uh, Mistrevis won't die. Uh, she has Shadow Ball, but after a Calm Mine it only does around 62, so it's not a big deal. And as you can see, we're just plowing through the Elite Four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially this one, because, you know, they're all weak to Psychic. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. 
trust me, it does get a little bit uh, more complicated and harder for the next two fights. Ooh. Uh, okay, that still kills. That's fine. <laughs> Skips the super effective text, I guess. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I, I went down right and it didn't take the right input, so. Oh well. Not a huge deal. Alright. So now I'm actually gonna save because there's a potential that this fight can go wonky. my last elixir. So, and I do need to heal. Alright. So, Lance always leads with uh, well, almost always leads with Thunder Wave on Gyarados, which is why we have the Cherry Berry equipped. So while he Thunder Waves us, we're going to do one Calm Mind, and then we'll Shock Wave the Gyarados to kill it. Thunder Wave. And this is where. I did equip the Cherry Berry, right? Uh, did you equip um... it with Blastoise? You might have equipped it on Blastoise. Ooh. Okay. But he's in your party, right? Yeah. That's yeah. awkward. I thought I equipped it, uh... Okay. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I thought... <laughs> I could have sworn that I equipped it to Mewtwo. I thought I saw that earlier, but I didn't want to mention it in case I was <laughs> wrong. I looked stupid. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. But there we go. Okay. Well, whatever. You've got it now. Whatever. <laughs> you're gonna go over estimate now. That's lost you 30 minutes, how do you? Oh, damn. <laughs> over. John Cena lost. John Cena never loses. Except when he does. Alright, so there's uh, Shockwave. Alright. <laughs> the so strategy. he sends out Kingdra next. Um, if we have, like, horrible special attack, we have to do an extra Calm Mind, but uh, we don't. So we're still good. So two Calm Minds, and then Psychic Sweep. Uh, Kingdra will outspeed me because he's going to use Dragon Dance. But he can't do anything threatening after two Dragon Dances. Like, mo what's most likely is that he'll just Dragon Dance again. Yep. Then we can just sweep through this. So Kingdra is his only upgrade. Well, two of his only upgrades. One of his only upgrades. Uh, the other is he has two Dragonites rather than two Dragon Airs. But they all still die the same. But it should be at 230. Which means I actually do have to put Blastoise up front.
No, so we've pretty much just dominated the entire Elite Four. And now this fight, once you get up and running after the starting bit and you get set up, is again... This is a really uh, good in-game time, by the way. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and your actual timer is at, uh, it's just past four hour mark, I think? Okay. RTA? Yeah, we just passed four hours. Nice. Uh, very solid. Last half hour, I was silently hoping for sub four, but yeah, uh, we'll be really <laughs> I, I close. Knew sub, sub four was close, but it, it would have been really hard. All right, yeah. still got a really good time. So one more battle to finish it off. And yeah, basically we send out Blastoise first because uh, at Mewtwo's current special attack, it's either not possible or. Uh, it's a, a range that you don't really want to. Yeah, it's a range that you don't really want to risk anyway. That um, psychic will kill this Heracross, and if it doesn't kill, then it'll use potions and everything, so it just gets awkward. So, might as well just send out Blastoise to do a little bit of damage, and then we can continue the strat as normal. So, I have to do four Calm Mines here. And depending on how many Calm Mines Alakazam uses, That'll de that'll determine what I do against the Salakazam. Oh jeez. Right, so there's four. I'm gonna heal now. Uh, because healing against the Tyranitar that's next is more rough. Alright, so he's done three Calm Mines. And we go back to full. And there's Shuttle. So three Calm Mines means Fire Blast X2. This is where notes come in handy. Ooh. Like, That's unfortunate. He's gonna he's gonna four restore the Alakazam. So oh, the burn. I'm four Ouch. restore myself as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's the unfortunate part about fire blasting Alakazam. Wow! Twice? No way. <laughs> I'm gonna just kill the Alakazam now. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Dang. Oh, okay, he didn't potion. No, 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 he, he only uses one. He has two available, but he only uses one at a time. Oh wow, didn't even know that. Crazy. Then this guy comes Four out. Here. Yeah. So Sandstorm is a thing, and he can do quite yeah. a lot of damage to you with Earthquake. Yeah, Earthquake and Sandstorm and combined do about 110 on average defense, but I have pretty good defense. Uh, right. He's a Dark type, so I have to double Shockwave. Heal now, again. The sandstorm's still gonna be going. So Gyarados will take a hit from it as well. Then Gyarados, it doesn't really matter what Gyarados does. And then we sweep the rest with Psychic. Okay. So that was an awkward champion fight. 
Yeah. Definitely not the best. But everything else went pretty well. Somehow forgetting the cherry... Equipping the cherry berries in the wrong Pokemon. That was... Oh, well, it happens. At least it wasn't like a massive mistake that cost yeah, you a lot of time. That's, again, why I saved, so... Right. I saved for the eventuality of something crazy happening. Mm -hmm. But yeah. That was the Elite Four Round 2. Uh, or rather, this will be the end of it. Um, it's a really, really fun category. There's a lot of planning involved, involved in it. It's a lot of fun catching all the Pokemon. Uh, time's coming up. Right... Yes, uh, one time. Now. Well, hey. And what was the time? Uh, four, four hours, five minutes, 32. I will take that. Very nice. And in game time. I am very happy with that. Yeah, yeah like I can't sub, really be upset with that. Sub 350 in game time, for sure. Uh, yeah, very likely. Yes, very nice I'm run. guessing it's going to be like a 348 or something. Yeah, that probably sounds right. It was a 343 going into land. No, no, no. It was 347 going into champion, so no, it's it's not sub 350. It's like 353. Alright. Shout out to Chidane. Being awesome. And there's Cena. Cena is the best the Pokemon. God damn it. Shout out to John Cena. <laughs> 350. Alright. I am A-OK. -okay. Alright. A. -okay. All right, so that was uh, Leaf Four Round Two. Uh, if you want to follow me, uh, JP underscore Zinum is my Twitch uh, username. There's a follow button down below the screen. And, uh, salad, your double eye salad, right? Yes, I am. Yep. So yeah, I'll but definitely you don't be doing me. more Fire sure. Red Round Twos in order to uh, improve my time and get it down there. All right. So, uh, thank you everybody for watching. Um, I'm kind of scared. How many people were watching? Um, About 1,500. Dang. Currently, you're at 1,500. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I hope everybody enjoyed that run. I, I really did. Enjoyed playing it. Uh, oh yeah, it was a fun one run. Yes. And uh, goodbye. So yeah, thanks everybody. What's up next? Next up is Pokemon Pearl Glitchless. Awesome. That by should Javi. be a uh, good run. Yeah, by Javi. Yeah. Javi's, uh, Javi's a good runner. You guys will enjoy it. Pearl's a good speed run to watch. Oh, I'm excited. Diamond was the first Pokemon game ever played, so... Oh, jeez. Yeah. Gen 4 is fun to watch, so... All right, oh, we're goodbye. saying 16k in here, so... Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. And, uh, yeah. <laughs>